Can I see your mum? You don't need to see my mum. I want to see your mum. You don't need to see my mum. Why are you winking at me, bro? There's something wrong with you. You don't need to see my mum. Young women. It doesn't say girls, it says young women. It says young women in the verse. Wait, read the verse. You are such a liar. You are such. You, you're such read, a read liar, dude. Lying. Why are you? You are literally lying. Why are you? Because God, God never said that. that. Number seventy-six and number seventy-seven, please. Can you read number seventy-six? And number yeah, it's the first and last. First and last for Muhammad's name. For Muhammad's name. Yeah. Okay. These are, this is the Pakistan Pedia website and these are says 99 names of Allah. I'm gonna ask you to do me a favor and just read the first paragraph real quick. Okay, but I'm reading uh, a source that you are giving me, okay? Okay, so, you're reading a source. You can pull, okay, you... do me a favor, pull up the website. Yeah, but if I'm going, well, there's so many so, different websites, so... So it's a website, it's not my source. It's a website on the internet. Okay, yeah, it's on the internet. Yeah. Uh, if you want to, uh, me to wait, I can wait for yeah, you to pull it up. Yeah. Or if you want to read it, it says right here. 99 names of... Uh, it's a Pakistanpedia.com. Pakistan, 99 uh, names of Allah. Pakistan. You can see the spelling here. P it's a little bit different. P-A-E-D-I-A. -E it should be P-E-D-I-A, -E but I don't know why they spelled it. P-A-E-D-I-A. -E One word. Pakistanpedia, P-A-E-D-I-A. -E Dot com and then type in 99 words of Allah okay so we can read it from your phone and we can we are, we're on camera okay um, yeah Allah uh, the creator of the universe and the master of two worlds has revealed 99 names of his majesty supreme in in much revealed a uh, holy book of Muslims the Quran. Each name embodies in itself the qualities and abilities of our Creator. Okay, so just let's just repeat that last sentence one more time. Each name. Each name embodies in itself the qualities and abilities of our Creator. So that means these names are only for Allah. These names are uh, attributions of Allah. Yeah. All attributes of Allah. That yeah. means you and I, we cannot take these names because these are names of Allah. The, he's the creator. Uh, you know, everything that's in there is so only... So Al-Qudus, uh, Al-Malik, okay. Al-Rahim. All right. no, 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 no. So let's, let's not go there. Yes. So just read a couple of more uh, lines. We don't have to read the whole paragraph. Just uh, the just context. Well, I don't understand why you want to keep reading this. Uh, just, uh, yes. just to get the context because then okay, we know. Okay, then you're going to ask me a question. Okay, no yeah, problem. yeah. I've seen... Forgiveness. No, no, no. We also recite these names. Can you please read that? Uh, okay. We embod he embodies. Okay. Go back to the each name embodies. Just each here. name embodies in itself the qualities and abilities of our Creator, and uh, we seek forgiveness of our sins and misdeeds by reciting the appropriate name of Allah. Okay. So if you recite the names of Allah, yeah. you are uh, getting forgiveness of your sins and misdeeds. Correct. You can, yes. Okay, you can. All right. We also recite. Okay, can you continue? We also. Uh, by, by reciting the appropriate name of Allah, we also recite these names to thank Allah for thanking in utmost hum uh, humility for the countless blessings. He okay. continue. Yeah, so. Okay, that's right. All right, that's enough, I think. Yeah, so now, about 99 of Allah, 99 of the we are recording yeah, something. Is yeah. it okay if we can do our uh, video yeah, and we can but, talk but another that, time? Yeah, uh, you, let, you let's did the same thing to the brother when they talk in the conversation. Who? You, who? you come you and see what You didn't do to Ali Dawa when he was talking to that uh, to that white man. No, we were just which which no, white we, man. You remember when he told you Ali Dawa? He told you can God says to exist. You said yes. You remember that video? Okay, yeah, yeah. Did yeah. you interrupt that conversation? I didn't interrupt the conversation. No, you did. You no did. I didn't you start did. talking you to did. Ali Dawa. Okay, look, look. you can go says, talk to him. I, I talked to the brother. I okay, asked, listen, listen. No, don't lie. Question. Don't lie. You're lying. You did. You lied. I talked you to lied. the brother. I didn't no, talk to Ali Dawa. No, no. Okay, so now a Muslim he does not want me to expose Islam because now he's. Oh, is he here? He's, he 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 he's, he's coming because he said, I talked to her brother him once him. when Ali Dawa was talking to him. He was a new. Okay. He said that is he a new? Are you a new Muslim? I'm a new Muslim. 
Muslim. Are you a new Muslim? I'm Muslim. Okay, he's a Muslim. What that guy was a new Afghan? Christian. What has to do with uh, the, the guy was no, a new Christian. He wasn't. He was. You're lying. He was a convert. He wasn't. I, I he know wasn't. him. He, he was a convert. Was. What's his name? Uh, his uh, name was uh, Nick. 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 And okay. he was a convert from Jehovah okay. Witness. Why? He said that on the video. He's lying. The guy was... The guy was are new. He didn't know answer? about it. He's a are Muslim. You Can you the answer? Are you Come looking here. for the answer? Okay, you're on the camera. Okay. Okay. Are you looking okay. for the answer? Or I'm not you debating you. You want it? What's your name? Are you looking What's for the What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Is it relevant? Is it relevant? Yes. Okay. You like to have a debate with me on this? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna finish this debate with him. Yes. Then I'll come no, and talk I, to I you. I don't have time. I won't have time now. No, I I, I started the debate with him. I have time now. No, I started a debate. Why are you looking for a fish? No, oh, he's he's a, a, he, he and I have had discussions before. Uh, he's a Muslim, are he's not looking, a new... Are you he, okay, this guy, he's not a new Muslim that he doesn't understand for Islam. He knows are Islam. Are you looking for an answer or looking he for a victim? He comes in here, are you looking I told for him that he can have it. For a so that's how Muslims are. You want the answer? He I doesn't want to let another Muslim answer because he doesn't trust him. He's a Muslim. I have he doesn't trust him. He doesn't want me to talk to him. I will talk to you, bro. Go ahead. I'm not right Go now. Ahead. I want to finish my conversation. Go ahead. I'm going to finish my conversation. Okay. So no, please, you can answer. watch it. I can answer. Wrap me shit to him. Go ahead. Okay. My friend, we are recording. We are recording. Sorry? You were proof to him. What was his question? Uh, he's not asking yet. Let's lay him okay, off. Right. Let's ask. Yeah, My let's, friend. Let's be patient. Let's be patient. Let's be patient. It's a nice weather. I'm going to ask him a question and he's going to jump in, he said. No, no. He's not going to let him answer just it. Just answer. Yeah, just oh, wait, wait, okay. Wait. So let's watch this. This will be live. How this person? I told him I will ask him this question later. I will talk to him later. Let me finish my conversation. I will answer. Why? Why? I'm not asking you. I'm not. Asking. I'm asking him. Okay, okay. Ask. Is he your daddy? Is he your dad? Are you looking for the answer? Is he your daddy? He's going to answer for you. Are you looking for the answer? Is he a man? Is he a boy? He's a man. Okay. He's a. He's a man. He's a. He's a Muslim. He's a new Muslim or is he a Muslim? From birth. Are you Muslim from birth? Okay, he's Muslim from birth. Okay, we have a full fledged Muslim man and he becomes his father. He wants to answer for him. No, no, I have the brother who was a new Christian. He, then I did not go and talk to Ali Dawa. I talked to the brother. He's talking to me and he's answering me. I was only talking to the brother. And we can go back and watch the video from Ali Dawa's channel. I've seen the video. Okay. We will come and talk to you. Let us finish no, no, our video. I, I have time now. I can talk now. No, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to him. Okay, my friend. You got the website, right? Okay, on the name number, let me give you the name. Uh, let's see, where is it go? Number 73 and 74. What does it say? 73 and 74. Yeah, what does it say? 73 says uh, the first. And you read it in Arabic too, what it says? Uh, al Awal. Awal, 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 yeah. yeah uh, and what does the, the other one say? 74, you say in. Uh, what does it say? Uh, the last. No, 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 74. Yeah, the last. No, the last. Yeah, al Akhir. Okay, they're good. Thank you. Can you do me a favor now? Go down to the, uh, go, go down to the page and it says. Uh, 99 names of um, Prophet Muhammad. Can you click on that, please? The 99 names of uh, Prophet, Prophet Muhammad. Muhammad. Go all the way down on the bottom of the page. Yeah, You'll it. see that link. Okay. Click that link, yeah? Yes. Do you have that now? Okay. So, uh, if you can just do me a favor and write the first three lines, or four lines, actually, of this paragraph. First? First, yeah. Just read it. Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu was the last of the 124,000 prophets sent by Allah to stay the life of the sinners of the righteous path. Allah at numerous place in the Muslim holy book Quran addresses Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam either directly or indirectly. Uh, using some of the 99 qualities of so the saying qualities, qualities of prophet. attributed to the Prophet. To the Prophet, okay. Qualities. Yes. Qualities attributed. Very good, very good. Okay, now we won't read the rest of it. Anybody at home, they can go and read the rest of it. It's called Pakistanpedia, P A E D I A dot com. Now, let's go to the. Uh, I'll give you the number. Uh, let's see. Can you do me a favor and read 
Number 76 and number 77, please. Can you read number 76 and number Yes, it's the first and last. First and last, for Muhammad's name. For Muhammad's name? Yeah. This is not Muhammad's name. This is not Muhammad's name? No, okay, no, go no. back up to the web, uh, to the page. Go back to the So top. it says, as per as uh, it says estimated, Muhammad is the most popular used okay. no, names no, no, no. in the world. Look, 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 on the, on the top. It on is, the yeah, it is estimated that no, no, no. more on the than top. But 1 is it the names of million Muhammad? Europe in the world bear that the name of Muhammad. Okay, so these are 99 names of Muhammad. No, it's not. So what is this? This is just the, okay. the attributes that uh, two What's the answer? What's the answer? Uh, he's not. He's Muhammad not giving the answer. He's this saying those the, are not the names of Muhammad. Okay. So the, he's saying that these names here, previously I used the same um, when, uh, names, which was uh, attributed to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and he's using the same things that are attributed to uh, God. Allah. So uh, Allah, yes. So 76, 77 name of Allah so listed on this website is Al Abwal Al Akhir, the yes, first and the last. 73 and 74 so, name so of easy. Muhammad is which listed is, Abwal no, and Akhir. Brother, brother, brother. Oh, brother. Let me answer. Yeah, he's the answer. same as Allah. Let me answer. Allah and Muhammad let me is shirk. No, Let me answer. Let me answer. Let me answer. Let me answer. That's it. Okay, no, no. Okay, my answer. My answer. Your daddy is going to answer for you. Okay, go ahead. Maybe I'm your dad, not him. Okay, first of all, this website is not our criteria. Yeah. It's not a website where we take our teaching. We took our teaching from the Hadith, from the Quran, and our criteria is that. Okay, and the scholars, and go on, go on, go on. This website, they can say whatever they want. It says these are the attributes of Muhammad. No, attributes of God. Yeah, and uh, but before we read the names of Muhammad, it says in the paragraph, these are the qualities of Muhammad. Of and in those qualities, they listed Awwal and Akhir. Which is I didn't put this website up. I gave this website on the, it's on the, uh, on the internet. It's not the only website. If you go and Google 99 names of Muhammad, there are several Islamic websites. If they're saying all the websites of Islam are false, that's their claim. I don't have a problem with this. The okay. problem is, it's Give not me. I I put that website okay. up and gave, then I would prove my okay. claim. Okay. I didn't make that claim. Okay. It's Islam making answer? that claim. No, the Christian didn't okay, make that now, website. Now, now, he said, white brother, white brother, white brother, he said that this name is in all the Muslim websites. Now, I said then, all. Did I say all? Yes, I said there that. are several websites that list the name, 99 names of Muhammad, and a lot of them have these names listed. And this is not only one website, uh, I said. No, no, no. I said that, that and now you want to you. say this. That was, That's what that I said. To you. That all oh, websites have 99 oh, get, names. No, no, but he there are several stop. websites from Islam. Look, Islamic look I respected you. I let you to answer. Okay. Okay. Now, like for example, we have Islamic website like Islam Way, uh, Islam Web, uh, Islam Q Question and Answer, Islam, 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 Islam. Can you bring for me, like these websites, who the one we trust? Can you bring for me what you said from this website, or but my main criteria is to bring it from the hadith? Listen, all of these can names... you wait, wait? Can you bring for me from any hadith? Where he said that Allah is the, uh, that sorry that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam can you let me finish let me finish that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam his name before the Prophet Muhammad before Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala that his name is Al Awwal and his name is the Akhir if you couldn't that mean you and your website you are badly exposed okay. Thank you. All right, he's finished now. So, is, are you yes. finished? Okay. Now, here's the response. No, no, it says, on the same part, it says, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, I have uh, five names. My name is Muhammad. I am Ahmed. Uh, Ahmed. Um, so, exactly. So, it does not, that's his name. He's attributed okay. his name to that. He's not saying my names answer, are. Answer my one as well, Hadith. About he's hadith. not saying my names okay. are all of these attributes. He's first, that you're second. Now he said, word. answer me first. I'll answer yeah. you second. So I'm, I'm on the camera, sir. Can you please uh, make sure we're not rocking? Okay, so the, the claim is that this website, whatever it's saying, is it in the Hadith or the Quran? That's the point. Where, where did this come from? So are you Muslim, bro? No, I'm Christian. And the, th and the answer is, I didn't put up this website. This website shows these names. Now we read in this, 
Uh, go ahead. You have a phone? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. No, no, go, no, no. He wants to twist. Let, go to Pakistan Pedia. P A E D I A. Pakistan Pedia. dot com. Pakistan Pedia. Pedia. How is that an authority and anything to do with uh, uh, it's, 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 it's Okay. It's not an authority. So the point is, look, that website, Wikipedia. You can actually. There are several websites. Let me guess, Joe. Let's check it out. Let's finish. Let's check it out. So, 99 names of Muhammad. Anybody can Google it. Not one website. Several websites give 99 names of Muhammad. Several. Possibly, yeah. Yeah, okay, several. So, it's not one website. Don't say it's Pakistan website. Now, let me answer his question. One person jumps in. Three other jump in, I can't answer him. I'm trying to answer him. Here's the question. Let me answer. I didn't ask you. No, he jump in. Sorry, sorry. He jump in. He jump in. He jump in. Don't jump in. Stop it. Let me answer him. I got an answer. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Now let, me answer. let me answer his question. He's saying this website gives false information. We don't believe it. However, the same website gives all the other names that they don't disagree with. I didn't it gives that. all the other names of like Hamid, the praised one. Yes. You know, he's praised, this and that. All the names are listed, you can all go there. None of those names are disputed by these guys. Uh, okay. Okay. Those are the names I of Muhammad. They don't dispute it. But when you pull that. out the Let name, the, the, that matches Allah's name, this is the wrong Let me website. Talk. Let me talk. That it wasn't my question. Wait, brother. Brother, please, please, please. That wasn't my question. This attribute is too Brother, broad. please, please, be patient. Oh, please. My question it was, bring for me a hadith, because that website is not my, cr my criteria, is not authority for us. I said, bring for me a hadith where he said that the Prophet Muhammad, his name is the awwal and akhir. If not... <laughs> Okay, your website states that. If you go in there, it states that these names are taken from Hadith and from Quran. I don't care about it. You don't care about it. Okay, that's fine. But the same website has all the other names of Muhammad that you agree with. So the website is giving all the information they agree with, but the part that they own, this website is not right. That's Islam. When you give them Hadith, they say, we don't believe in Hadith, we only believe in Quran. You know, know we believe in all these that. other names of Muhammad. I never said that. I, I gave him Stop this lying. information before. Stop I lying. keep never giving him the lying. information. Stop I didn't put Stop up this lying. website. Website Stop says lying. the names are from Stop Quran lying. and from Hadith. Where They're not you from Quran. Me, this, is this is what Where it is. Are, it's I not just one website. Google it, you have There's a phone in your pocket. Muhammad Why are you so scared? Muhammad Why are you so, Why are you so scared? Why are you so scared? Why are you so scared? Maybe he knows. Maybe he knows? Oh my God. Okay, man. We got a question, man. All right, my friend. Brother, I need to put this mic here so I can show him the stuff because I can't hold it. I didn't put up the website. If I put up the website, I would show the reference. This is it. Without website, the reference is the by, uh, They could be done by a fringe group, a sect that nobody's Hi. heard of. Hijab, how are they you, man? Their own agenda. They're trying to verify. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Hijab, I'm a Christian. I've been talking to some Muslim brothers here. And we got a website. There are several websites, not just one. Uh, you know there's 99 names of um, uh, Allah, right, mentioned in the Quran? Well, I mean, there's a hadith that says that if, if someone does, if someone uh, does ihsa, what is Ihsa? Of, I'll tell you, but of 99 names, then uh, then they'll get in Jannah and so on. But Ihsa yeah. doesn't, doesn't necessarily mean that there's only 99 names of God. This is a common misconception. So there could be more than 99 names of God, in fact, right? No. But Ihsa means to memorize it and to understand it and to live by it. And can you get your names forgiven if you memorize them? Say again? Can you get your uh, uh, sins forgiven if you memorize them? Yeah, yeah, names? but you have to live by it as well, you know? Okay, does it say that? Well, the word Ihsa has, a, has an encompassing meaning. So Ihsa doesn't just necessarily, well, for example, the Quran is mentioned. So if you if you count the blessings of God, you will not be able to enumerate them. Okay. okay. So Ihsa is, is a bit more encompassing than just, uh, for example, 
حفظ the word حفظ in Arabic means to just memorize yeah but in the hadith the word uh, حفظ is not mentioned in the 99 name hadith yeah. the word إحصاء is mentioned إحصاء okay well, alright I'm not I don't speak Arabic so maybe I'll take whatever you're saying to be a fact that might be the case but that's not what we're actually discussing there's something else that came up is it okay if I can ask you about the 99 names now there are several websites that give the 99 names of Allah are there also 99 names of Muhammad? No, I mean, as I say, it's, there's not 99 names of God. That, that's a misconception. So there's more than 99 names of God. I didn't ask that question. Let me ask you the question yeah, again. So those I websites that have 99 names of God and then they, and even like, you know, these placards that have like, we know that's them exactly in the Muslim world. Yeah, yeah, so these kind of placards that you've got like 99 names of God, they are not, that, that list is actually ijtihad, it's someone's estimation of what the 99 names are. Okay. It's not actually, this okay. list is not mentioned by the Prophet Muhammad. Alright, let's move on from there because uh, it's not just, there's more to it than just that. So that means that um, those names that are there, those are the attributes of, uh, of, God, yeah. of God, Allah. That means that no other man can have those attributes, correct? Well, I mean, uh, not, 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 not entirely, in fact. I mean, uh, what was, if we said that no other person can have these attributes, then we would not be able to understand the attributes. So, for instance, for instance Allah is a Rahman, yeah? Now, a Rahman means the most compassionate one, yeah? And scholars of language, they differentiate between a Rahman and a Rahim, the most gracious, the most merciful. You know, they have the differentiations. Now, the but Rahman, is, when it comes to uh, Rahim, that is attributed to Allah because He can forgive sin. You can you can forgive me my debt. I owe you a hundred pounds. You can forgive me the debt. Okay, no, no, that's a that's, a, that's yeah. another rah rahim. Uh, you were rahim to me, and you forgive me no, my no, debt. No, 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 now no, no, Allah no. is not. A, can, can it's not can okay, go ahead. I mean, God is uh, ghafir and He's also ghafur. So there are two attributes. One is ghafir is that He forgives sins. Ghafur is that He continually forgives sins. Afu means that he wipes away the sins. Mercy, which is Rahman, it comes from the Arabic root Rahim, literally meaning the womb of the mother, which is basically kindness that is given without uh, any uh, the person deserving it. Okay, so mercy, mercy, mercy is not necessarily the same as forgiveness. God, so, is, God, God is forgiving and okay, merciful. That's so, fine. Yeah. All right, great. So we got another clarification on another name of Allah. Now. We're going to go to this list, and I'm, I'm not saying this list is from the Quran, but that is what the website says, that these names are taken from Quran. Do you think that Allah is the first? Yeah, no word. And Allah is the last? al awwal al akhir Yeah. Okay. In the Bible, Jesus says, I am the first and the last. Now, do you believe that Jesus is first and the last? Well, no. Uh, first of all, we don't believe in the Bible as Muslims. We don't believe in what Jesus says in the Bible is actually what Jesus says, number one. Number two, when the Quran says that he's the awwal and akhir, yeah, he's the first and the last, this is re this is referring to the fact that he's pre-eternal and post-eternal. Okay, good. Okay, now, if... One so Jesus is not pre-eternal Why will or... No, no, we would say that in that sense, pre-eternality only belongs to God. Yeah? Not to and Jesus. Eternality, yes. Because no, he's a man. We wouldn't consider what the Bible says about Jesus or God to be voracious from that perspective, to be honest with you. Okay, having, that's having fine. said that, having said that, so you mentioning the Bible to me is like me mentioning a hadith to you. It's the same thing. No, I'm just clarifying fine. because, yeah. because so, so, okay, because now, yeah. Gaffar and all these yeah. other names you mentioned yeah. are not in the Bible now, uh, but, saying that. Yeah, but this yeah. name the that you, the yeah. uh, Alpha and Omega, yeah. Abdul and Akhir, yeah. first and last, is mentioned in the in the Bible. But here, first and foremost, we have to really understand when we say the Alpha and Omega, we talk about the first and the last in a pre-eternal and post-eternal way. Now that's the first question. The second question is, even if we say that, let's say yes, it does mean that. Yeah, no problem. The question now would be, are all things post-eternal and pre-eternal in the biblical discourse meant to be God because they are pre-eternal? If so, then you have Melchizedek. Melchizedek is clearly mentioned in the Bible as having no beginning. So if Jesus is God because he has no beginning, then Melchizedek is also God. Or, or Melchizedek is uh, uh, another form of Jesus. Yes, but most, okay. most scholars like All right, let's Now we are going that. to... Okay, that, yeah. you reject it. Okay, no, my no, no, point no, is... Scholars, Christian scholars okay. reject that let, Melchizedek uh, is Jesus. All right, or, or was a form of Jesus. But that's yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but we're not going into that uh, discussion. The discussion is about Awal and Akhir because uh, you know, the Bible mentions it and the Quran says... So what, uh, what is the discussion about? Now, here's, we're, we're coming to it yeah. because we just had to lay down the, yeah. the, the, yeah. the groundwork. Okay, so we got that name uh, cleared up. So let's go now to 
Now on the same website, it's called Pakistanpedia, P-A-E-D-I-A.com. <laughs> This is, a, this is not the only website. Pakistan Media. Pedia. Yeah. This is not the only website that has these 99 names of Allah and Muhammad. There are several websites. So I'm just giving you one. Talk about Pakistan. Make sure, guys, to, uh, to donate to the relief efforts in Pakistan now. Right. Because we're okay. seeing most of the, a lot of the country being flooded. So I think it was, since you mentioned Pakistan, right. I think we should mention this. All right. So now, on the same website, on the bottom of the page, it says 99 names of Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad. And if we click on that, it gives us the 99 names of Prophet Muhammad. Now, if I read out these names, let me read out a couple of them, and I will ask uh, my friend here uh, if he agrees with that. It says, uh, Mahmud, praised. Uh, was, okay, so that's an attribute of Muhammad. Hamid, praising. That's what it says, I'm just reading. Okay, Ahmed, most, uh, what is it? Commendable, okay. So these are the attributes. So I'm just saying that, giving you a reference. Now, okay. I'm going to go to name number 73, I believe it is. Uh, so we can go to the point, because I'm not going to waste your time. Right. I'm going to get you to the point. Okay, so uh, just give me a moment, please. So let's go to 73. Uh, where did it go? I would say, though, this is this effort of you being speaking to me now. I'm presenting your strongest argument for Christianity. I I'm not giving you an argument for It's nothing about Christianity. Either of, of the two, this is quite a wasted effort, I have to say. You could, go, you could, you could do better than this. I have to be honest with you. Because there's nothing going on here. You're just asking me about what names. So we got... Uh, Alright, that's fine. Now clarify this, please. Please. So he just said he's going to clarify this. Uh, and I just took this information. I didn't put up this website. It's not a Christian website. It's put up by Muslims. And Muhammad Dijab just said that uh, Allah's attribute, you know, he's the first, he's the last. However, on this website, and it states that all these names that I read to him about Muhammad, he said those are correct. They were from the website and they're taken from uh, Quran and Hadith. Now, number, yeah, number 76 here says the first. Number 77 says Allah is the last. Muhammad is the first and the last. Is Muhammad equal to Allah? That's shirk. That's wait, shirk. Wait, first, of all, can I say, first of all, to be fair to them, they haven't said al awwal here. They said awwal, which makes it there's a big difference here. It doesn't say the first, it says first and last. Secondly, where is that mentioned in the Quran and Sunnah? So that's this is what the, the website is claiming. The website is not a book that <laughs> okay. we follow. Right. So, 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 okay. so uh, uh, it's not the only website. Brother, there are several brother, websites. Please, please. Go ahead. Let's, let's, Let's do me a favor, yeah? Let's have a conversation. Now you presented your argument. Now, you have to understand how this works. Okay, Muslim Muslim people, like Christians, they have primary source materials that they go back to. Now if I said to you, look, I've got a website, it's called uh, I don't know, uh, Vaticanjokes.com uh, or something like that, and look it says this and that on the website, you would say that's not what I believe. So in order for you to have this conversation with me, you don't get it from a website, you'd have to get it from the authentic sources, right? The Quran or the Sunnah. That's the first thing. So the second thing is, even on that website, they're not claiming that God is the uh, al, uh, sorry, Prophet has al awwal in the indefinite article, uh, in the indefinite article. Uh, sorry, in the definite article. It's in the indefinite article, awwal. So even then, it doesn't work. But anyway, the point is, this is a way. Indefinite way, way, article, he thought. Yeah, when yeah. he said Hamid, it wasn't about the indefinite anyway, definite I'll, article. I'll take it anyway. All the other names so, doesn't have to be about the indefinite definite so article. On this name. It comes to indefinite, definite no, 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 no. inconsistency. You're not, you're I just, I took his logic. I, 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 I took his logic. He said indefinite, definite article. All the other names okay. of Muhammad oh, does not have a definite okay. article, fine, fine. but those are it's attributes of Muhammad. When it comes to this name, okay. since it doesn't have the uh, uh, definite article, What's it is article? not. Where's it? What, what, what hadith? Sorry, what hadith? What hadith mentions that he's the awal? I read it from your website. website. Oh, I don't okay? care about website. This I, has I, I 99 website. names of I, Muhammad. I reject, I reject website. Website. If you can say that website. all the websites that are saying 99 names yeah. of Muhammad are put up by, uh, by non-Muslims, that's another reject, story. It's not, it's not a These okay. we websites are put by Muslims, by Imams, they have rejected. So I, I, everybody I, I, here knows these websites are all rejected yeah, yeah. by our group. Yeah, yeah, fine, fine. We, it's a deviant group. Pakistan Pedia, they have declared is a yeah. deviant group. We don't know about that. But it's, it's they're anti-Islam. They're putting up non-Islamic 
information to propagate Muhammad Islam. Is Pakistan putting up non-Islamic Islamic? Well, this is a website. It says Pakistan Media. Okay. It is all about. Is this your No, no. This is just one argument. You're wasting my time. Okay. You're wasting my. You are wasting my time. Okay. Fine. When you go and learn from somebody, from one of your missionary groups or whatever. When you if you want to speak to me, yeah, we can speak. All right, fine. But let me just finish with your friend here. So look, all I'm going to say to you is this. If you want to be able to provide an argument against the Muslims, then the first thing you need to know how to do is reference the Islamic texts. Unfortunately, you have failed miserably yeah, in being able to do so. You've got in a website, which is pakistanmedia.com, and told me that I have to believe in it. Now, I'll tell you what. I think what you should do, I think unless you, ha unless you have a voracious or robust argument that you've thought over properly and which meets the academic standard, you, my friend, are wasting my time. Can I answer that? Do you understand that? Can I answer that? Do you understand this? Yes. So can I, have, you can have I answer that? Say. Hurry up. Can I answer that? So okay. That done, done all right. What he has done is, he well. said <laughs> that <laughs> all the names <laughs> from that website <laughs> that <laughs> he agreed <laughs> with, he said those are correct. <laughs> What they're saying is that everything that we, we think that is right on that website is from Islam. Okay. Anything we disagree with is non-Islamic. That's their logic. And they're telling me yeah, that this website, don't give me the website. I will take the information from this website that I agree with because he's a Hamid. He's praised one. He's praised and this and that. All those names are correct. All this website is correct. And the website is stating these names are from Quran and from Hadith. That's your argument? That's my argument. Thank you so much. Thank you. Goodbye, my friend. See you later. All right. yeah? See you. Goodbye. Thank you. Please All come right. here. Good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I want to talk about Sewer 65. Wait. What am I waiting for? Wait, wait, wait. I've already spoken about that with one of your friends. What, what friend? I don't know the friend. I don't know. One of your guys from the. Well, I, I don't know who it was. I don't know he's a Christian. Was. Do you consider Christians to be your friends? They can be my friends, but I don't know who you're talking okay, about. Okay, so one of your Christian colleagues or whatever. Well, but I want to talk to you about it. I'm asking you questions. No problem. What's wrong with my asking question? Can I ask you a few questions? Yes, of course you can. Okay, cool. You're shivering. Yeah, what's wrong with that? No, you, you know your prophet shape? Yeah, no problem. Yeah, yeah, you're he did. Shivering, you're shivering your prophet shook. Not in front of the enemy. Right, but your prophet shook, didn't he? You're, you're shivering. Yeah, but he, he shook when he received revelation. I'm receiving revelation right now. Oh, are you? Yeah. You, you better have a stronger hey, argument than your prophet. Jesus is God, my friend. That's revelation. Right. Right. Done Go ahead. Attack, please. Anyway, let me read the verse out for you, man. Because we're just going right in tangents. Yeah. We're going back in what? I said we're going around in tangents. Oh, going yeah. around in tangents. It's yeah. an interesting one. Yeah. <laughs> well, you don't know what tangents mean, do you? I do know what tangents Okay. Anyway, it says here, and for such of your women, this is Surah 65 verse 4, right. Right? and for such of your women as despair of menstruation, if you doubt, their period of waiting shall be three months, yeah? Yeah. along with those who have had it not, and for those with children, their period shall be, their period shall be, they bring forth their burden, and who, whosoever keepeth his duty to Allah, he maketh his course easy. Now, the Tafsir writers confirm that this is talking about children. That verse is talking about children. Al Jalalain says it, Ibn Kafir says it, I can list a few of them if you want me to. But what do you think about this? Do you think they're okay and correct in their translation of that? Well, you, you've actually you've mentioned number th verse 3. Verse 4 what? is, well, uh, ilam yahidni. You didn't actually mention it properly. The reason, the reason why I didn't, four. one minute, the yeah. reason why I didn't mention that is solely because ahead, the Tafsir yeah. writers have said this is referring to young children. But you're mentioning verse 3, 65, yeah. 3. No, sorry, sir. If, I say, if I said, I apologize, I apologize, I'm coming here. If I said 65, verse 3, I apologize, it was 65, verse 4. No, no, you just read out 65. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. yeah. And I've just said, if I said 65, verse 3, yeah, yeah, I apologize, I, said, I meant 65, verse 4. Thank, so thank now 65, verse 4. Thank right? you for apologizing. I've, I've, already, I've already done it. You're, you might be doing a lot more. You can get big headed as you want, I don't care. That's fine, good. So it's not really a good trait, is it, man? It's a, no problem. It's you not are, a good trait, man. Okay. You need to humble yourself a bit. You know what, Bob? You know, like, humbles yourself a bit. Thank you. Thank you okay. for your advice, my friend. Thank, thank you. you thank you. No, no, no problem. problem. No problem. Yeah. I always give advice. I'm always here to give advice. Oh, thank you so it's much. Here's man. And I hope you come to right. Jesus, bro. I, uh, I need your barber's number so I can give him a couple of pointers and pieces of advice as well. Do you? The one who does your hair. That's funny because I need somebody to deal with your hair, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. With anyway, so I'll say, I'll say, look. Okay, so in, in regards to what you've said, I think there's another. As I've said, Al Jalalain, Ibn yeah, yeah. Kafir, right. and so every know, know, tafsir yeah. writer I've claimed yeah, yeah. claims that the, the verse in question yeah, yeah. is referring to an idda. That yeah. idda is the period of waiting for yeah, divorce, yeah. right? Agreed. And that period of waiting for divorce, okay. three months, yeah, yeah. is for children as well. I'll tell you the truth. So your God is I'll, okay with marrying children. Okay, no, no, it's fine. Let me, let me and divorcing them as well. Let me answer your question. What? It's true to say 
that if you read the tafsir and the exegesis of what? chapter 64 verse 4, what? especially on the part where it says, well, let ilam hidden, it does mention women that are pregnant, it does women mention uh, post-martin women, but it also does women, women that have never had a period before. That's right. true. And if someone tries to do it in card of that or reject that, then they will be... And it mentions children as well. What I'm saying is women, uh, women that have never had a period before. It doesn't say women, it says children. What, what? Ibn Kafir clearly women, says it no. mentions children. Yeah, no, no, I, do you want me to read it out again? No, no, fine, fine. I'll read it out to you. I don't no, mean I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm listening. Listen. Allah the Exalted clarifies the waiting period of the woman in menopause yeah. and that it is one whose menstruation has stopped due no, to her older age. Can I finish? Do you know what it says? Can I finish? Can I finish? Can I just finish? Can I allow my place? Then you can. Then you talk. Right? I'll, I'll give you all the time in the world. Just allow it. Right. And that's one. That is one of those whose menstruation has stopped due to her old age. Her idda, a waiting period for divorce, is three who, who, months. So who's idda? Who's idda? This is a waiting period for divorce. No, but it says her idda. Her idda. Yeah, so who's this her? is referring to the woman in menopause. No, so woman, woman, woman. Yeah, yeah, that woman. And now, now let yeah. me read the rest of it. Yeah, right. Yeah. It is three months. Yeah. Instead of the three monthly cycles for those who menstruate, which is based upon the ayat in Surah Al Baqarah, the yeah. same. For the young yeah, yeah. who have not reached the years right. of no, menstruation, I accept, I accept, I accept. their idda is three months. So you can marry and divorce children in Islam. Okay, let me answer your question, right? Oh, no, no, let me understand. Let me understand. First of all, the verse itself says min from your women, yeah? Right. So women is, you've asked me where the woman, the verse itself mentions women. Yeah? And this is mentioning young children. So you've got right, a problem so with the early tafsir. Let me, let me ask you, yes, no, I don't have a problem you, with you. No, well, you, you, you so you don't? No, I don't have a problem. So when they say young child, you've got, you, you've got no are, problem. Are you asking me a question now? Are you, are you just no, no, continue, 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 continue. All right, continue. so let me ask you a question, right? right. So it's true to say that... I'll be quiet when I'm ready, right. bro. What are you talking? No, 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 it's fine. It's true to say that aqdun nikah. Right. The Aqdun Nikah is a marital contract. Right. Can be done with anybody at any age. Of course, yeah. Yes? This is yes. something which you don't know that. But the sexual interaction... No, I did know that, mate. Okay, fine. Maybe you didn't know it. You're a great scholar of Islam. Well, you go on like you're a great scholar, mate. Let's be honest. Let's not crack wires, man. It's just not helping you. Okay, no problem. All right, go on. So what I'm saying is, scholars of Islam differentiate between two things. They differentiate between Aqdun Nikah which right. is a contract and when for example the woman can uh, for example Ibn Qudam al-Maqdis he mentions it in his Ibn Qudam yeah Ibn Qudam al-Maqdis he mentions it so, but basically the Hamburg what I'm saying to you is this it's pretty much understood in Islam what? that you can do a contract of marriage but that, that contract of marriage is not efficacious in the fullest sense until the woman <laughs> is able to uh, consummate the marriage and that capability which is referred to as istita'a in the books of jurisprudence is mentioned as you know physical is capability that in the Quran? so it, it, yeah so, so, no, so that's not in the Quran bro. in fact you did say yeah, yeah, on camera no, no, no. Me, that me, if you read the Quran on its own you yeah, could accept. literally marry a child in the Quran that was your words I accept bro. so you could argue that you could argue the point right. that it's most explicit in the hadith why can you argue the point, point that it's most explicit in the hadith right. because it's the only mentioned in the hadith can you stop covering up the Quran let me tell you why it can be alluded to in the Quran but it's mostly mentioned in the hadith for, for number one, the scholars of uh, Islam, the jurisprudential scholars, because right. really you have to differentiate between the exegetes and the juris, uh, jurisprudence. Yeah, it's fiqh and tafsir are two different so, things. So what's wrong with the exegetes so, though? So That's no, my because they're early. No, what they're saying is no, what they're saying is they're right. attested. What they're, what they're so what's wrong with them? No, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with them. I've right, not right, said that. Right. All I've said is that they're saying that the contract can be done, but that it's not efficacious in the fullest sense where intercourse between the two parties can happen until the, the woman is ready. So who, who makes that. this stipulation? Who makes this stipulation? So they, like I said, the Islamic scholars, they deducted it from the fact that... The so Muhammad and Allah don't make this stipulation, yes, correct? Yes, they do. Muhammad where's, where's Muhammad so, Where does Muhammad make that stipulation? So as I said, they look at it from the fact, the scholars look at it from the fact that he married at the age of six, that, that there was a marital contract, but that he did not do uh, would you call it juma? Or he did not do intercourse. So there was no intimacy until, until the age of nine. Exactly. Yeah. So they look at that and they say, "Well, that's good evidence so that even even though, even though no, it's not correction. It's called specification. So it's, it's it's good evidence for the fact that the contract can be put in place. However, that it's not efficacious until the person becomes capable. Now, how do we know? So, so who, how who do you know yeah, who yeah. determines whether she's capable? Good, good. Because there's also hadith that claim her silence means her consent. Good. No, no, no. Well, and also, we, we see instances within hadith. I'm, I'm not misunderstanding anything. We see instances within hadith. I, I know because I've read it. Right. We see What's instances. The hadith? What's the hadith? We see instances within the hadith yeah, yeah. where where Aisha's taken by Muhammad and he beats her. Okay. Debates until she's green. Now that's a different, that's a different topic. So if there's science, we could, these are consent. I, I reject that. He obviously was a. You, re, you reject yeah, that. I reject it. So yeah. you reject hadith. 
No, I reject your understanding of it. Let me go back to the first So point. being a Tushu is green yeah. is my understanding, correct? Wallahi, if you find me any hadith that says that the Prophet I dare you to find one single hadith where the Prophet beat Aisha when she's green. You're a liar. You are a liar. The first, wait, hold on, hold on. Second thing is, wait, let's let's get to Christianity in a second, yeah? But let's no, we're, we're not getting to Christianity. I want to go past this point. Then we'll go to yeah, Christianity. Yeah, fine, fine, I don't mind. Fine, fine. I'm, I'm here with Abel. Let's deal with Islam first because we don't have anything to hide. I'm saying to you now, the first thing is, you stated what is the evidence. I told you that the scholars of jurisprudence that come that hundreds of years after the Prophet and your God, by the way. No, no, no. But no, I understand. But that's yeah, true. Yeah. That's true. However, that's true. What, what's also so there's true? nothing in your soul. If I took the Quran alone, remember no, no, the Quran no, no, no. it says, the Quran itself says in chapter 15, verse 1, that it is a clear book. So if I, if I took the Quran on its own, I could literally rape okay. a child and it wouldn't be a problem in religion. Hold on, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Why is that no, funny? No, no. That's your religion, no, no, no. that's not mine. No, no, no. Fine, fine. That's literally your religion. No, your religion is messed up. Calm down, guys. I don't know what's your religion, bro. This is where it is. There's nothing to... Guys, you're... You can keep coping, you keep coping. You're interfering, I don't interfere, please, yeah? Yeah. Let's answer this question directly. As I've said, the hadith is that. Number two hadith, which is very important, is that which mentioned in Noah's 40 hadith as well, which is la darar wa la dirar, which is that you're not allowed to cause harm or reciprocate harm. Now, the scholars the of... Sunan and the side, I, by the way. I, so, so, continue, just, sorry. It's also continue. mentioned in the 40 hadith, okay? No, no, no I'm talking about the, the striking hadith that we oh, talked oh, yeah, about. Oh, yeah, mentioned in Sunan and the side. Okay, it's also right. mentioned as a Muslim. You didn't know that. You, well, yeah, you okay. didn't know that. You said, fine, show me right. where, no, and no, in fact, no, it's, it's even recorded. Not green. It's recorded. Not green. There's nothing about greenery in the hadith. So, so, so he beat her, but there's no. nothing about green. No, I know. So it's okay if he beats her, but it's not... I didn't say that. I said that the hadith that I know you're referring to is mentioned... He beat his wife, basically. That's what I'm having to do. Uh, no, 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 Hadith says that. that. I said okay, Hadith well, the people are watching you in, in disingenuity, right? I didn't say Where's that. The, how am I being indigenous? In Speak properly. <laughs> in just Cat got your tongue, boy. <laughs> yeah, how's it? Has literally got my tongue. I don't know what's going on. No, I'll give you that. In disingenuous. I, I wasn't being in okay, No, it's not in disingenuous. It's disingenuous. Yeah, yeah I wasn't being disingenuous. Okay, okay, so your disingenuity is for all the I people. wasn't being disingenuous. Okay, I was let reading let your clear. book. Fine, I was fine, reading your book. Sunan and the Sai, which is literally Are you afraid to hear my response? I'm not afraid of your response. Fine, let me, let you've me, got no response. Okay, but go on. Okay, I've got my. I'm not afraid of my response, but I've got no response. You've got no response. Okay, so let me respond. My response is this: is that the scholars of Islam right. they consider one of the major objectives of Islam as not to cause uh, or reciprocate harm unless there is injunction in the text. And who are these scholars? They're later than your prophet. So how no, can no, we know? They, they no, one more minute. How can yeah, we know at the yeah. time of your prophet? Yeah. If we're at the time of prophet, yeah, yeah. how can we know that those yeah. same people? Yeah believe that you had to wait a certain period yeah. to have sex with a child. Okay, they, they Bearing in mind, you're no, a no, prophet. No, we don't agree with had, what you just had said. sex with a child, no, no, he married a child, so there's no problem. Listen, listen, we don't agree with what you just said. Listen, yeah. What do you mean so, don't agree with it? So, yeah. That's what yeah. Hadith says. Let me answer your question. Go on, go on. To answer your question, the scholars of Islam, they look at the, what, like a shot we mentioned in the Muafiq right? right. He, he says that in order to understand an objective of Sharia, you don't look at just one piece of evidence, you look at the combined piece of evidence. So in the case of uh, this principle of uh, the principle of causing and reciprocating harm is not as a result he mentions of, or the principle is that uh, harm is to be averted this is a principle in Islam Unless there's Who was that principle sent down no, I'm by? Telling you, How can we know that it was sent from Muhammad? Okay, you asked me a question, can I answer it please? Go on, go on. Yeah, fine. Go on. So I shall to be mentioned in Kitab Muafaqat that in fact principles like this are more voracious than one piece of uh, evidence and the reason why he says is because it combines all pieces of evidence. So for example in this case, there's a hadith of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu where he said himself... It seems like a load of words, Salim. Okay, fine. Maybe you don't understand it, but maybe... No, no, you're not you're bringing any points, that's the point. So let me just say my words. So, right, 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 right. so the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he mentions a hadith. La darar wa la dirar. There is no harm or reciprocating harm. Right. And he mentioned another hadith, la darar wa la idrar. So it's another, it's another way of saying the same thing, but with more emphasis on reciprocating the harm. So no bringing harm? Is that no, no, yeah, no reciprocating yeah, yeah. harm? Yeah, yeah. So why did your prophet no, harm no, Aisha I'm then? I'm explaining to you that there's no evidence of that. I just no, shot no, no, Sunan no, no, Al-Nasai. No, 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 hold on, hold on. He said, hold on, hold on. so you hold were the black shape that I saw in front of me. And he said, yes. Yeah. He struck me in the chest, oh. which caused me pain. Oh. Then he said, did you think that Allah and his messenger would deal unjustly yeah, with yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. I, I said, whatever the, the people conceal, he knows. Yeah, yeah. So, so Sun and the side, Hadith 2039. Okay, so you've been exposed. No, I haven't been exposed. Let you me, have. Let me ask you. Let me according to, me according me. to Mahomet, it's would, okay to beat somebody. Would you like me to answer you? All right, fine. First and foremost, and you're, you're not helping yourself here. First and foremost, Aisha herself, who's in the rate of that hadith, mentioned in another hadith. So that means it's wrong. Can you can you let me speak? Continue, go on. Right, so Aisha, who's in the rate of that particular hadith, yeah, right. who supposedly said he struck me in my chest to cause me harm, right. which I reject the translation of, yeah, because if you bring the Arabic, it's not darabani. He didn't mention that at all. 
The word dalaba is not even mentioned in the hadith, just to let you know. Let's just hide behind the Arabic. Let's just it's do not, that. No, no, just calm down. Calm down. Creep calm down. behind the Arabic, let's do that. Let me, let me finish. First of all, the word... You're not bringing any points, though. Word, it's just, no, just like, just telling me your Arabic. No, 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 listen. See, now you're, you're starting, you can see what's happening here, right? It's okay, it's okay. Let him I'm know getting uneducated, apparently. I'm still asking questions. It's still going to fall. Still gonna fall. Go on, go on, go on, continue. I'm shaking, I'm your prophet shook. Okay. It's what is. Okay. So you're trying to be disrespectful. We're not trying to be disrespectful. No, 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 no. There's hadith for your prophet shook. Do you want, want me to show you? Let me deal with the points. You're you going to another time. Alright, alright, fair enough. Go, go, right, to the, go to the point. First go of all, the hadith inside Muslim, yes, what? Is, does not mention darabani, and I challenge you, which means hit, to strike, or whatever, which is mentioned in 434, the same word, fadribuhun. That's not even mentioned in the hadith. So I challenge you to find the opposite of that. Number two. It's not my problem. Uh, no, no. And then I'll give you that, something. That was a hadith. Hold on. Muslims let me finish. Let, let, me finish. Let, him, let, him, let me finish. Let me finish. All right, go on, go on. The second continue. thing, which is more even, even more damning for you, is that Aisha herself. <laughs> yeah, just let me finish the point. Oh, let me finish. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not talking. Go on. Okay. Okay. Can you see? I said I'm not talking. Second point. Second point. Let him make second point. very anxious. I'm really not. This is the funniest stuff I've done with it. beta blocker? Would you? No, I'm alright. I think you need one. I'm not the one. You sound like a beta male right now. Sorry. I said you sound like a beta male right now. That's beta, what he's on like. Beta blocker means a propanolol. It's a, it's a drug. It's a drug that See, brings your heart rate down. He's trying to get away from the argument. I don't need any of that, mate. Oh, maybe you do. Okay, okay look. Oh, okay. So, so, so if, if Muhammad shook, no, 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 if Muhammad shook and quivered, is that pumpy? Uh, only if there's an extraneous variable which uh, which uh, substantiates. Oh, so revelation. Him sweating and shaking. Yeah, yeah. He met God. You're meeting me. He met God. How do you know I'm not meeting God? How do you know I'm not meeting God? How do you know I haven't got God inside? Demon. He met God. You're Look at all you want. How do you know that I'm not receiving revelation from Allah? Right. How do you know that I'm not receiving revelation right. from Allah? How do you know that? How do you know I'm not receiving point? No, no, you brought up the shaking. So how do you know I'm not receiving Listen, revelation from Allah? You're running from away. I'm really not. The you're the one who's running away. Okay, you brought up right. shaking. So I'm showing your profit shot okay, according no to your hadith. No problem. Sorry, oh, it's sorry, no problem. Sorry. Okay. So if he's not a problem, I'm no problem. See, cool, let's go. Okay, let right. him do the second, Continue. Point. Continue. second point. Second point. Second point is yeah, that running. Aisha herself yeah. said listen, the Prophet bro. never hit one of his wives. No, no, never. never. In a hadith that's narrated upon her in Bukhari, she said that he, the Prophet never hit any of his wives. So the hadiths contradict each other. No, they don't because you look. The word what do you mean they don't? He struck her. Okay, now let me explain. If your if your translation of the hadith, it's not my translation. It's Muslims, it's not me. Okay. I didn't make this well, up. I'm translating the hadith Everything for you. Everything Muslim, Muslim is wrong. Right? The Irrelevant. Lives, though, the You're one Muslim. Even and this isn't there's a lot of Muslims. Had... No, no, wait, 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 guys, 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 yeah? Even there's many Muslims Bukhari's that wrong. disagree with you, Muhammad. Even Sayyid are wrong, Sayyid al-Bukhari is wrong. So you, you're not, you're not, you're not a judge of jurisprudence over the whole of... You can see the desperation here. You're not a judge. I'll let you squirm. You're not a judge. Muhammad al-Jab is not the judge of jurisprudence. It takes scholars and the jab is not a scholar. Hadith under the look, look how he's, look how he's I'm not, I'm not, hey, Jabi, hey, Jabi, hey, Jabi, hey, 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 you okay? Hey, Jabi, I'm are, not scared of you. Are you squirming? I'm not scared of you. You're quick, you're shaking, and you're I'm squirming. I'm not scared of you. And your guy is... I'm going to be honest, ever since I've come to this park for two years, and you saw me two years ago, right? I've always done this. I've always done this. About everybody. And it's recorded. So I'm not scared of you, mate. We're not, we're not all scared of you, mate. Maybe these are, but I'm not scared of you, mate. Oh, we're done here. So continue with your point. My point is, is three steps. That is uh, just just to answer your question. Yeah? Go on, go on, go on. I, if your point is that if you look at the Quran alone, without reference to the Hadith, can you justify intercourse with uh, prepubescence? Yes. Or would you have a stronger argument? I'll say you would have a stronger argument without the Hadith. But we don't accept the Quran without the Hadith. That's why we look at the Quran and the Hadith. So what hadith, hadith, what, 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 one minute, what, 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 what Hadith says that you cannot have sex with a child? That's how the Hadith works. Just to let you know. No, so what no, you, uh, you, <laughs> you can't. No, no, hold on. So, you said, according that. to the hadith, we, can, we cannot have sex with you. That's what you said. No, no, what I'm saying is the hadith works in the following way. It's not just like it, you have to have, for example, a, a saying. So the actions of the Prophet are also considered to be something that we the Muslims follow. The sayings of the Prophet, the iqrar of the Prophet, or what the Prophet affirms or doesn't affirm. This is what so we can right. interpret our own traditions the way we want, and if we don't like something, we'll just reinterpret it. No, I mean, even you accept That's your religion. Hold on, hold on. That's your religion. Your religion is back. Well, go on, go on, go see. Anyway, uh, well, now you have to be disingenuous. Right? I'm being disingenuous. That's just the same old no, argument again and okay. again. It's not so, disingenuous. So now, now you don't interpret you your religion how you want, and anybody who says it's paedophile is wrong and a kafir. Okay, so anyway. so just to summarize the point, yeah? we've said, You asked the question. You're going? Mark chapter 5, verse 4. So, I didn't negate the fact. I did not negate the fact that some scholars of exegesis and hermeneutics have said in the past that this refers to prepubescence. The ink of the Umar ibn Abbas said it. And listen. It's called the ink I, of Umar for a reason. Sorry? The ink of the Umar ibn Abbas said it. 
Okay. Right? I, oh, Jalalain says it. Okay. Ibn Kafir says I, it. I, I, is that I, what did I just hear me say? So you don't deny that? I, I just said oh, that fact? No, I didn't say they're wrong either. You didn't say they're what wrong? What I said is the way this is to be understood what? is that there is a contract can be uh, can be done before, but that the woman, when she gets to, to an age of puberty, now she has a choice. And the evidence of that is what the Prophet has said, al bikru to set them. That the virgin or the person who's not been married before has to be asked permission before marriage. That's an evidence the Prophet's saying. Have you got a hadith for that? I need yeah, it. it's called al bikru to step them. And I'm saying can it to you in Arabic. Can you quote the hadith? Yeah, al bikru yeah, can you, to step them. Uh, well, 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 what I need you to do is like later, like show me a link fine, or something because I need the actual no name. No problem. So which is why, which is why Shokani and others have said okay, that. You can just say it. We'll get it on anyway, camera. Look, uh, just say that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, just, already said, he's already said I've it to me. He's already said it. So fine. So that's. That's number one. Number two, we've said now, harming is not okay. So someone can ask the question which you did and I didn't answer it. So let me answer it now. Right, you said, how do you determine if the person is able or capable for sexual intercourse? The Prophet Muhammad said in another hadith, said, Man Whoever pretends to be a doctor and he's not actually a doctor and then he harms somebody, then he is accountable. The Quran also says, Fas'alu ahli dhikrin kuntum la ta'lamun. Go and ask the people of knowledge if you don't know. Meaning here that Islam gives rights to doctors. Oh, and that has nothing to do with what I just no, no. said. That, of course it does. Let me tell you why. Was Muhammad a doctor? Let, let me explain, let me explain. Let me explain what I'm saying. Because the question of harm, especially if we talk about physical harm, it seems to me to be a medicinal issue, right? So the question of, okay, if a, a person like, for example, she's 50, let's say in this country, the, the, the consent is 16 years old, right? Yeah. All right. You are maybe like 21 years old, right? 22, something like I'm that. I'm 27, mate. All right, you look young. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> very, very nice, yeah? A strapping young man like yourself, you know? Please don't hit okay. on me. No, no. I am not gay. <laughs> okay. No problem. I'm not no. Gay. <laughs> no. If that's how you interpret hitting on us. I'm, I'm joking, I'm okay, joking, no bro. Don't worry about it. I'm trying to give you, I pay you a compliment. I know, I know, I know, I know. It's a bit, it's a bit mean spirit. I okay. apologize. No problem. That's, I apologize. Don't, you don't need to apologize. <laughs> All I'm going to say is that a man like yourself, right? Right. You, for example, can have intercourse with a 16 year old in this country, okay? Now, this 16-year-old might be emaciated. This individual might be malnourished, might be weak. You might be able to grab her like this and then the collarbones fall, fall off, right? This might be a weak individual. Now, Islam would say, although it's legally possible for you and, I'm not going to say me, but just anybody to Please have... Don't. <laughs> that, let me put it another way, right? You've got a 100-year-old woman. Right. And there's no law that prevents me to have intercourse with a 100-year-old. But once again, if I go to the care homes and wait outside and, you know, and then do, no, honestly, and then I get, and I, no, But I would a hundred year old know what sex is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so they'll be fully, comp they'll be able to comprehend what sex is. Yeah, yeah. They would know what marriage is. Fine. A six year old girl wouldn't know what marriage is. No, no, a nine year old girl wouldn't know what sex was. No, 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 In no, fact, no, Aisha no. was playing with dolls. Okay, now hold on, hold on. You're going from one thing to another. You're I'm really not. It's, no, just, no. it's, all, all, in the, it's you, all in the paradigm all of Islam. Saying, all I'm saying to you, the paradigm of Islam says this. If you have intercourse with a 15 year old, 14 year old, who is before the age of consent, but she's voluptuous and big hips and ready for action, where there's no harm, but then when you have sex with a 99 year old and you do it with her one time, she drops dead and goes to the graveyard. Islam would say actually one of them is more morally uh, incorrect than the other. I mean, actually, no, Islam not, would say that her silence is her consent. You could have sex no, no, with the old woman no, 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 and you could have sex with a 15 year old. No, it wouldn't. If, and in fact, it also if, says if, in your, if, if, in your if, hadith if, if, yeah, if, that if, anybody no, no. younger than and 15 is a child. Now listen, and if, I can show you that as if, well. If, if, if by having sex, no, Islam will say, if, if by having sex with a 95 year old woman or an 80 year old woman, you're going to cause her considerable harm yeah, she would. and or injury, which you would agree with, right? Yeah, she would. That such a thing would not be allowed in Islam. I'm saying the same thing applies to women who are making their transition to puberty. Do you understand the Islamic concept now? So although the... Co Although legally, for example, if I wanted to have a marriage contract with a 95 year old, I can. I, I mean, it's, it's going to be valid. Now, the thing is, it might be valid, but the rights now that I'm going to be owed in a normal marriage contract are not going to be the same. I can't say, oh, you know, the angels are going to be cursing you if you don't give me uh, intercourse every night the way I like it. Yeah. So, it's, do you so, so explain to me why Muhammad didn't follow these principles because he married a, a six year old girl and then had sex with her. Hear what I'm saying? She had yeah. sex with her yeah. at nine years old. By the way, if you look in yeah. history, yeah. when, when nine year old girls or people, old, even a bit older, like 13, when they were pregnant, they would die. So your God was okay I'm with your married, prophet no, no, having no, sex with a child no, who could no, potentially no, die. He, he, said, he said himself, he said himself, and he's a man of his word. He said, the one we're done with, when we're done with Islam, we move to Christianity. I no, don't mind, man. He doesn't mind. Don't mind. He, he doesn't. But what I'm saying to you is, all I'm saying to you is as follows. That 
you said these principles, these principles were established by the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Do you understand? According this? to who? Now, According to all the fuqaha, according to the... No, according to men who came hundreds of years later who didn't even yeah, know your prophet. Yeah, okay, no problem. So, what do you mean no problem? Yeah, so, so your religion doesn't come from Muhammad, no, it doesn't come from Allah, it comes from people who existed hundreds of years later. No, 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 what I'm saying is, why that's important though, uh, what's your name again? My name's John. John? Yeah, John. So John, the reason why this is still important is because these individuals are not affected by Western apologetics or liberalism because they came way before. Uh, way before. I'm not even talking about Western apologetics. I'm, I'm talking about your that. God. No, no I'm saying. Legal legal I'm, I'm questioning your I'm God's saying. morality. What, That's no, the I'm point. Saying, what I'm saying to you is this. Yeah. I am saying to you clearly that those scholars that came before time, it wouldn't have been socially unacceptable for them to make that proclamation in their times. So they had no motivation to lie upon the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in that manner. In fact, some of their some of their opinions, if we had brought them uh, to to the public, would be seen as uh, aberrant to say the least. The point I'm making to you is of that yes, there has been a group of scholars that have interpreted the religion of Islam in the way that I've just said. But What's the, the age of consent in Islam then? What would you no, consider the age of consent? There, is a, there isn't an age of consent in Islam. So why is it that a hadith that's saying anybody who's younger, who's younger than 15 is a child? Okay, so, so the Malikis, for example, that's the upper limit, not the, not the, uh, the higher limit. Right. So in other words, for the Malikis, there's a difference of opinion here. But the, for example, if you look at all four madhabs, the, the Shafi'i, the Malikis, the, the, the four madhabs of Islam, yeah, yeah. the Hanafis and the... Uh, and who else? Who, who did I mention? Hanbali, Salaf, is it Salaf? No, no, Salaf is not. And the Hanbalis, right? Yeah. If, you, if, you, if you look at all those, they have minimum and maximum ages. In fact, for example, uh, Ibn Qudama mentions, yeah, the minimum age is nine years old. Yeah, you can't be an adult, with, you cannot even be an adult before nine. That's the, the, that's the Shafi'i view and that's the Hanbali view. So, that's, so that's, that's actually more wicked than what your no, prophet's no, no, saying. No, no, because your prophet's basically no, no, saying no, no, anybody who's younger than 15 is a child. What, what, but this guy, no, Hanbali, is basically saying, oh, you're not. Do you want to speak properly or not? All right, okay, fine. So what I'm saying to you is this, is that in Islam, certain signs have to be in, uh, in place in order for someone to be considered an adult. Right. Now, there's a difference between... There's, there's a difference between taklif, when you'll be ac morally accountable in Islam, right. uh, and because there's a hadith that says, uh, what do you call it, Rufi al qalib wa an And one of them is that al-sabiyu hatta yahlu, that the pen has been lifted on three people. So there's an eschatological dimension, which is that God doesn't hold to account children. The pen has been, what do you mean the pen that Allah has an eternal that's next to him and that's good? No, this is more of a metaphoric expression. The pen has been lifted, meaning that they're not accountable, right? right. So the pen has been lifted on what three pe sets of people, one of them is the young one until they become pubescent. Do you understand? Right. Yeah. Now, you can be pubescent, but not fit for marriage. That's what I'm saying to you. That I'm not saying as soon as someone can uh, do that puberty, they're ready for sex and marriage. But the hadith, clear, there's hadith that say her silence equals her consent. Okay, let me explain the hadith, because you mentioned it a few times. Her silence equals her consent means that if you ask her and she does not object and out of shyness she's quiet, then that is, uh, that is uh, acquiescence. Can children be shy? Or mute. No, I'm not talking about children. If they're in a disturbing, I'm, I'm talking about children. Yeah, because yeah. I, she was a child. That's a fact. Okay, that's what you're saying. No, 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 that's what, what I had to say. What is, what is a child? A child is somebody who's younger than 15 according to your own religion. Oh, so no, no, hold on. According to my religion, it's not actually that. I, well, I, said you. I, I, I no, literally no, 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 just no, no, read no, no, you a no, hadith, no, no. which... But sorry, bro. No, 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 I literally no, just read a hadith, no, 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 which no, literally no, no, says no, 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 that those no, younger no, than 15 are children. No, no, it's not true. That's not, there's no hadith like that. Okay, then I'll get it out. There's no hadith like that. I'll get it out. I'll get it out. I don't mind you. There's no hadith like that? You heard it on camera, he said there was no hadith like that. There's no hadith like that. Okay. As we said, a child stops being a child if one of four things happen. There's no hadith like that. You heard him say that, no, there was no, no hadith like that. Can I tell you what the four things are? Right, go on, no, no, I'm listening to you, I'm going to listen. No, no, no. Well, I'm going to read this out after, but I'm going to listen to you. No, no, I want to know. I don't go, 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 Because at the end of the day, we have to sharpen each other up. If this is the level of argumentation... Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hijab, you told me that there was no hadith mentioning that those younger than 15 are children, right? That's what you told me. Yeah, so I'm showing you it. It's not, it's not sahih. It's not, it's not authentic. It's not authentic? It's not authentic. Okay then, uh, where because is it? That would have sealed, that would have sealed, that would have sealed the conversation. Well, the, the fuqaha have already told you that childhood ends at one of four things. One of three things for a male or one of four things for a woman. The three, the three things for a male are when there's, when there's pu uh, hair, like pu pubic, pubic, hair. pubic hair in the, in the areas and so on. If they have a wet dream. Yeah. yeah. Uh, or, Okay, so this is Sahih Muslim, 1868. I've actually got a hadith. And for the woman's menstruation, yeah? Right, fair enough. So, so, so can, I, can I get to the point now and hold basically on. just destroy you on this point? No, can I just do that? Hold on, let me finish. I mean, come on, I mean... Uh, let me, let me it's, it, you let just me, you me, just lied to your own people. Let, let you lied on camera. Let so let me just Go read on, this read out. Right. Sahih Muslim, 
1868, the Mesha Allah inspected me on the battlefield on the day of Ahud. And I was 14 years old. Okay. He did not allow me to take part in a fight. He inspected me on the day of Kandak, and I was 15 years old, and he permitted me to fight. Nafi said, I, am come, I, I came to Umar bin Abdulaziz, who was then Caliph, and narrated this tradition to him. He said, surely this is the demarcation between a minor and a major. Yeah, I, a minor's being a child and a major's being somebody's older. Yeah, so he wrote to his strict governors that he should pay subsistence allowance to anyone who was 15 years yeah. and or old, yeah. but should treat those of lesser yeah. age among children. Okay, let me explain. Yeah. So okay. thank you. You no, said no, I was lying, no, you no, said no, I was wrong, no, you, and you, you just got you proved by your own no, you, scholars. No, no, hold on. Can I and it's Sai Muslim, what, so it's so not even Daif. What you said? No, no, I've, I've already finished this debate right now, but here's what it is. Go on. No, no, go ahead. I'll let you continue. No, because you've already proven that you've lied, basically. You said that the Prophet Muhammad said that anyone below the age of 15 is a child. The Hadith didn't say that at all. It literally says that. No, it doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. Do you want to read it out again? No, it doesn't. The hadith doesn't. The hadith does not. Let, no, sorry, excuse it me. Say, excuse yeah. me. Yeah. Seriously, it I've it already read it out twice. Are you done? Are you done? I've already read it no, out I'm twice. Not done. I, haven't, I haven't started yet, actually. So right, 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 continue your point, because you're not making any sense right now. The hadith does, right does not state, like you said on camera, and everyone can rewind it and play it, and it's on leisure, yeah? It doesn't say, the hadith does not say, that the Prophet Muhammad Sassam said in his words, that anyone below the age of 15 is a child. The hadith does not say that. All it says was that you had these two uh, boys who uh, one of them had reached the signs of puberty because of pubic hair and so on. And that there was an influence by Nafa and others, which I already told you, seeped its way into the Maliki school where they accepted that the upper limit for age, for the age of a child is 15. In fact, if you say that the age of 15 is a child's age, then that will be in my favor because I'll say to you then, uh, the, then, then that would the, the hadith that is quoting Muhammad. Anyway, look, what I'm the saying, hadith is quoting Muhammad. He didn't say that. But he anyone, did. What did, he say? What did he say that? I've read it out yeah, before. No, the Messenger of Allah inspected me on a battlefield in the day of yeah. okay. and I was 14 years old. Right. He did not allow me to take part in the fight. Yeah. He inspected me on the day of Kandak. Okay. I was 15 years old okay. and he permitted to fight. Said, Nafi said, I came to Umar bin Nitti, okay. who was then caliph, and narrated yeah. this tradition to so him. Why does prophet said anyone below the age of So what, what's the tradition, bro? What's you just said that you, okay, okay. Who, you understand who gives side? traditions okay. in Islam? Okay. You, you have, Wouldn't that be Muhammad? With due respect, I have a comprehension issue here. No, I don't. respect. Because you said that the this prophet is, said something. Words. This is what Muhammad saying. What did he say? It's a tradition from him. He didn't say anything in that hadith. He oh. said, surely this is a demarcation is between a minor he? and who's a major. It's not Umar ibn al Aziz. No, it doesn't say nothing. Yes, it does, does say that. Read it all again. Read it all again, my friend. It said said no, hold on. No, it says he, he came to no, no, Omar. Read all again. Why am I reading it all again? No, read it all again. Yeah, read it again. Read it again. The Mesha oh, Allah no, inspected me on the battlefield on the day of a hood. Yes. And I was 14 years old. Yeah. He did not allow me to take part in a fight. Yeah. He inspected me on the day of Kandak and I was 15 years old and he permitted me to fight. Yeah. Nafi said, so he's talking about Nafi now. Yeah, yeah fine. Yeah. I came to Umar Abd Al Are you going to let me finish the thing? Aziz, who was then Caliph, and narrated this tradition to him. Who's the tradition from? Muslims, answer the question. Who's the tradition from? Come on, please. No, 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 answer the question. Who's, no, the, who's the tradition from? What tradition? Where do you not get your traditions from? Uh, listen, calm down, bro. Calm down, please. The, no, no, Ijab, where do you get your traditions from? You get them from Muhammad. So Muslims get their traditions from Muhammad. So Muhammad was saying. Okay, no, Muhammad didn't say anything in the hadith. So where did this come from? Then? Okay, let me explain something to you, please. Yeah? yeah no, stop, stop doing this. Oh. Just stop. You're, you're showing your own desperation. You're a desperado. There is no desperation, bro. I'm reading what it says. Desperate. Where do your traditions okay, come let from, bro? Let me explain bro? something to you. For, for something to be narrated upon the Prophet as something that he said, it would have to have key words. The words are like Samiatu, I heard from the Prophet, or Qala, or he said. None of those key words are there. So why was this uh, why was this written down? Well. Why yeah. was this written down then? Let me explain to you. This hadith, even in the English that you've read, does not say for all the GCSE students that are doing G uh, English literature comprehension. That's funny because you're not even GCSE level okay. at this point. Fine, uh, yeah, I, I can uh, you know, I talk about that, no problem. It is what it is, bro. It's, it's not my fault you don't understand what the GCSE tradition is. Because in Islam, you have tradition. They gave me a most of, you, most <laughs> of your sources come from traditions, what Muslims. What are your qualifications, by the way? What's my qualifications? Well, I'm a university student. I don't okay. need to tell you the rest of that. Because oh, you have not graduated yet. No, I haven't. Oh, I've got four degrees. 
that's fine. So I'm higher than you, right? That means nothing. So higher than me, what? No, no. You, you, in you psychology. Just, hold on, hold on. You, I mean, that means nothing. No, hold on. You don't even know what I'm studying, excuse and I'm not going to tell you anyway. Excuse, excuse it has me. nothing to do with what I'm saying. No, what do you mean, excuse me? It has nothing to do with what I'm saying. You said I'm just a C student level. So I had to prove to you that I'm not. Well, well, come on, bring, bring the degree. You haven't even proved anything. Okay, no problem. That's I'll, fine. I'll bring them okay, so now, now can we get back next, to the point? Next yeah. yeah, we'll get back to the point. Because we're, we're just going on a Since tangent. Now right, it says here. Now, he, you bro, haven't put me anywhere, bro. Where did bro. the prophet say He said... It? Where did he say it? He said, surely this who's is who, demarcation who, who's, who's between he? a minor and a major. Right, right. Bro, <laughs> bro <laughs> the tradition comes from Muhammad. Okay. Now, you're, now you're acting a fool. Either you are the fool or you're acting it, but I don't care. Neither. Look, now let's This is your hadith. Alright, fine. This comes from okay. your prophet. Well, so unless so, unless um, people just write hadiths no for the sake of it no and just okay. quote random okay. man for no good done, reason, done, done. this comes from your prophet. Okay, fine, no problem. Thank okay. you very much. So if it comes from your prophet, he's not, he's not, your prophet he say said that. He you know it is what it is. But this hadith says that and those who are younger than... Say that. Well, the hadith says that. Say that. The hadith says no, those who are younger than 15 are children. That's what the hadith no, says. That's what Nafa said. The hadith says that. And what Nafa meant, like, like, like what, is the, what is the contemporary Maliki opinion, is that the, the upper limit for adulthood is 15. That's what it means. Now, we've Doesn't even say that in the verse, mate. Doesn't even say that. Verse, let's move on. You're, Doesn't you're say that here, in the hadith. Like your friend. Well, seriously, I mean, you're wasting my time. You haven't even got to the point. All you've done is semantics right now. I brought actual sources. Right, All you've done is tell okay, me I'm no shaking. Problem, no problem. And now, oh, I, I don't have a GCSE or something. Yeah, I don't but, even know what you're saying. No, you that just said that to me, actually, about the GCSE. Yeah, I did, because you brought up some wise crack about those who have GCSE, yeah. blah, blah, blah. I don't care no what you problem. think, man. I'm going to be John, fine. Go Can I ask you a question? Is your general argument like this, so I understand you and you understand me, yeah? Right. Your general argument that it's immoral uh, to marry a minor or to have intercourse with a minor, the prophet did it, therefore he's not a true prophet. Is that your argument? Well, no, it's not just that. The, no. the other thing is your Quran clearly states yeah, that you can fine, divorce fine, a child. Fine, fine. fine. So, so, so that's within, and within the wrong. paradigm of Islam, yeah, yeah. it's okay to divorce yeah. children. So, therefore, you can marry children. So, your argument is Islam they is immoral. Fine. So, your, they your, do marry your, children, your right. argument is Islam is immoral yeah. because of this, and therefore Islam is false. Yep. Okay. Well, that's, that's not the only reason why Islam is false. No, we can get to the other reasons. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. It's a falsifier of Islam. It's a disqualifier of the truth, right? Right, yeah. All right. Now I'll ask you a question, since we've talked about Islam for a long time. You haven't answered any more questions, but No whatever. worries, my question to you is as follows. If you look at the book of Numbers, chapter 31, verse okay, 18. <laughs> no, no, no. no I've heard this before, my friend. You can you run, away. run away. You didn't answer my question. Run away. Go on. Run away. You didn't answer my question, go on. It clearly yeah, states... Yeah, it clearly yeah. states that you can take the young girls for yourself. No, you can't. Okay, the, the, the Babylonian Talmud, okay, which Jews believe... I don't care about the Babylonian Talmud, I'm a Christian. You do know this. In fact, you said the early church fathers don't say that the spirit is consubstantial so with the father. So even though I could debunk you with that easily, mate. You're what not even on this book. If you look at uh, Deuteronomy chapter 21, verses 10 to 14, it's also giving you general permission. It's no, it isn't. Deuteronomy 22 clearly says... 22, 21. Well, I'm talking about 22 because they're all in the same context, right? Deuteronomy 22 says that you have to wait a month when you take a slave woman captive. Not a slave girl, a slave woman captive. You have to wait a month. They have to pair their nails and then they'll be ready for marriage. And if, they, if they're sex. not... For sex. Well, no, marriage. It marriage sex. No, it doesn't Whatever. say it. doesn't say it. Well, it does, it does say marriage. It does say marriage. Hold I'll on. show you. Go back to 3118, which you ran away from. Very clearly, the Bible is telling you, yeah, that you can take the young ones for yourself after you've annihilated the, uh, the battlefield. Now, if the general argument that he's put forward is that marrying prepubescence is something which disqualifies something from being the truth, that we've already explained. Where does it say you can have sex with them though? Just let me explain. Let me explain. You can explain what you want. Well, sure. right. well, the Hebrew word that's mentioned is tough. Now, the, the, the word that you don't know the Hebrew language, you don't know the Arabic language. You don't know any language except for English. I don't know any language, apparently. Except for English. This is, this is the intelligence okay. of Islam right now. Intelligence we, of Islam. Okay. Now, let's look at the Hebrew. The Hebrew script in the book of Numbers, chapter number 31, verse 18, it refers to the young ones as taf. If you look at any lexicon of the Hebrew language, as per what the rabbis themselves in the Talmud have said... What rabbis? For example, I don't... Listen. I don't care what some <laughs> random rabbi said. It's not random. Go to my religion because I am a yeah. Christian, right. not a Talmudic what? Jew. Okay, you keep bringing up these random heretics, the, the old, they mean nothing to me. The Old Testament is written in one language. What do you mean? It's written in Hebrew. Okay, great. That means nothing. Great. Now, it means nothing. It Matthew mean wrote his gospel in okay. Hebrew. Oh, no, so what you're saying means nothing. Wait, hold on, hold on. It means something. Because obviously, you have to understand the book. 
the Old Testament, the Hebrew Bible, as the Jews, Jews call it, we have to read it in Hebrew. We have to go now, to the to yeah, yeah. yeah. To you, you have to go to the Christian that, church to interpret a Christian what Bible. I don't care about random Talmudic scholars. I, I don't care about them. They're heretics. They believe that Jesus died in excrement. I don't care what they believe. No you understand problem. what I'm Christian saying? Christian scholarship says the same thing. And I can get you reference. Wh which Christian scholarship says that I Jesus think. died in excrement? No, not that. I'm saying to you, Christian scholarship on this verse, in chapter 31, verse 18. Show me early church father. Go on. Church fathers don't... Hold on, hold on. Did you say early church father? Yeah, show me an early church father. Oh, hold on, hold on. Early church fathers, you will not find exegeses except for a few of the Old Testament by early church fathers. That's yeah, yeah, no. wrong. He's so the one wrong on that debate. Oh, hold on, hold on. The reason why is because you mentioned just, Christian scholars. No, 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 you just said that. No, no, no. So what was no, early, no, no. whatever's early no, no, apostolic no, 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 is correct. No, no, so go on. No, no, I didn't say that. I said to you now, if you're asking me about an exegetical point, yes, church fathers like Origin, well, no, he's not even a church father, Origin of Alexandria. He, right. did, he did actually write it. Well, even he wasn't a older, church father, he was a damn heretic. Right? I'm just going to say it straight on camera. Right? Okay. Ecclesiastic uh, church writer, right? Yeah. <laughs> other ones. Yeah. You know, Tertullian, others. Right. All of these church fathers, you will not find many of them delve deep, deeply into no, the, the works of Exegesus. I know. Even they didn't, uh, Ignatius exactly. didn't, Polycarp Kefi didn't. Only a few of them did. So you're asking me to find you, it's like asking me a tafsir, or, or they haven't even done tafsir. The, re the reason why is because they're that. early and apostolic. Okay, so and you why can't you're asking find me to get me that? See? You're asking me to give me an exegesis. They didn't even do exegesis on this. It's like me asking you, did Ibn Kafir say this? And you believe Ibn Kafir is at least early enough to know the people that knew your prophet at yeah, least. If, if you ask me about... Or even Abbas, the ink of the Ummah, at least early enough yeah, to know the people who know your prophet. I'm saying to you now, right. if you look at the Hebrew language, if you look at the verse, chapter 31, verse 18 of Numbers, you look at what words are used, which is taf, the young girls right. for yourself, lechem, lech the young girls, taf, lechem. Have What's the young the children for yourself. It's about 31, you have 18. The young children for yourself. Doesn't say sex. Okay, so let's read it out. 31, 8. But all the women children that have not known a man by lying with them, him, keep alive yourself. What does it say? Women children. What's a woman? What's a woman children? Women children. Huh? What's a woman children? Numbers. Women children. Girls. That's what. It no, means. no, no. Women children means girls. Young oh. women. Yeah, yeah. Young women. Yeah, yeah. tough. Young women, you didn't hear what I said, did you? Young, it doesn't mean children. Young women. In fact, my Bible says that a a girl who's twelve was a child. What's your Bible? What's what this KJV? Yeah, okay, fine. But if you look at, for example, there's more than one Bible. Yeah, so you have to once again look at the different translations. Again, these Muslims are going off. Nevertheless, I mean, let's go with nothing to do with that. Let's go with yours. It says children there. In the Bible, in Luke, in Luke's got. Allow me to finish. So we're, God, we're talking God, about. We're talking God about. So it's not allowing me to finish, right? It says real. in Luke, right, that a girl at the age of twelve was a young girl. A girl. Okay. That's woman. why Jesus says, "Talf yakumi." Young girl arise. She was a child at the age of she twelve. This is the Islam. This is not paedophilia. Oh, hey, here, here we go. You're, you believe that Jesus is part of the Trinity, correct? Oh, why are we going on the Trinity now? Okay, no, no, I'm, I'm going to. You, gonna you, you literally just started talking about numbers okay, eighteen. Do you have a conversation? You just had you made your point. You were right? talking about are numbers scared, eighteen. Are you scared of my why are you scared of numbers eighteen? Is it because I said it was young children? Are you scared of my response? I'm just scared of you at all, bro. Your response is going to be a long argument because so look how God, many of you are needed. No, but I'm going to say. No, no, he came over. Did I know he's here? Argument because God didn't instruct Moses to say that. Okay, so no, whenever no, you no, say no, that was no, from God. So let me let me just debunk this right now. It says it in, in Deuteronomy 22. No, it's, it's easy. It's easy. Right. In Ezekiel 16, for example. You, Jesus, excuse me, excuse me. Have you heard of Ezekiel 16? Lord Jesus. Who you believe is God. Mm, who's the, who's also, the, also the Old Testament because it's part of the Trinity. He said to the people in Numbers 31.18. Did he say take that? Take the tough, the young girls. Correct him, it was Moses. Young women. Young it was Moses and it was young, young women. Girl. Young you women. Young, it doesn't say girls, it says young, young women. Yes, correct it says him. young women in the verse. Read, read, read the verse. <laughs> you are such a liar. You, you are such you, you're read, such read, a liar, read, dude. Read he's lying. Why are you? You are literally lying. Why are you? Because here? God never said your, that. How could your God allow this? You are lying how could you to my face. How could you God allow he this? never said in the verse. How could your God allow this? It doesn't say that in the verse. How could your God allow this? Your your God allows you to rape children. No, no, one minute, bro. What, don't don't allow him to go on a tangent. How could your God allow that? Bro, bro, don't don't go. Look, talk to me, hijab. Talk to me. Why are you going over there? Talk to me. Right? The verse doesn't actually say. Look at him! How can you go okay, I'll, I'll do that as well, yeah. I'll, I'll do that as well. Even I'm not six foot five, but I'll do that as well, right? I'm trying to stand out, that's why, because he seems to think because he's tall, right? Question, yeah. Can I ask a question? What? You've got your own interpretation of the verse, okay? Correct. It's yeah? the, well, it's Which one is, of many interpretations, okay, but I know. Your interpretation is different to mine, correct? 
Well, I, I was actually going to go for the no, Bible no, to interpret the Bible. Because you should let scripture interpret scripture. That's why it says in Deuteronomy 22 that you are to marry a woman. John, John, Not to sleep John, with them John, like in, in, in bro, Islam. Just give me a second, yeah? Go on. You have a different interpretation to those rabbis, correct? Of course, the heretics. Okay, the heretics, they, you have a different interpretation, correct? Yep. All right. The issue is not your interpretation or their interpretation. The issue is that can it be in a scholarly way, which is in line with the Hebrew language, interpreted in a way that would allow such a thing? I'm literally Go going on. through the hold Bible on, for what it on, says. Hold on, hold on, let me finish. It says young women. Let me finish. If you might not look at the Bible and think of all these things, taking the young girls for yourself means take them and do whatever you want. No, because them. you Define assume them. pedophilia Desecrate because that's what your religion really teaches. Deal with them. Pride your religion so teaches you to assume them. pedophilia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's what your religion teaches. Okay, so okay. So okay. So yeah. That's what your religion. Because uh, hold on, hold on, one minute. What I'm not saying is what you're saying. You're saying the verse says had sex with him, but nowhere does the verse say that. Yeah, he just. So you're assuming pedophilia, and then maybe that's because you're 31. I don't know. But as far as I'm concerned, the Bible doesn't do say have, that. I do have, the Bible is not Islam. Months. The Quran, I do of course, have a dirty of course, mind. You do. Yeah, of course. because Islam teaches that. I have to listen to this guy all the time. Islam teaches that. Mind. What do you mean all the time? I've only spoken to you today once. Listen. The last time I spoke to you was two years ago. Words in the Bible that are I mean, not come there. on, bro. Okay, let's, 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 get back to the uh, point. let's get back to the point. Yeah, go on, do, go, go. do you agree with me that the Bible can and has been interpreted in a way which would indicate that young girls can be taken for sexual purposes? Yes or no? It's, it, the Bible's interpreted in many different ways. Can it's it irrelevant. Areas interpreted. Can it be interpreted like that. One minute, bro. Areas interpreted the Bible in different ways in as a, well. In a scholarly, in a scholarly way, which is in line with hermeneutics and language. Yes or no? Does the Hebrew term "taf" can it be ex, can it be explained as has been? Can it be explained as take these girls and have sex with them? Yes or no? No. Okay, so then because case, later oh, in great, Deuteronomy, great. In case, later in Deuteronomy, yeah, yeah, God says or yeah. Jesus says that you must marry a woman. You are not to lay down with them. That's you right. must marry a woman. Anybody, in fact, it says in Deuteronomy 22, 25, that anybody who takes hold of a woman and rapes her, right, would receive death. Get me the verse, please. Okay, go, let me go. Read up, because now this is this guy's known for this nonsense, yeah. I'm known for this nonsense. Do me a favor before you. Re I'm known for this nonsense, no, no, right? Do me a favor. John, John, I'm known for this John, nonsense. Do me a favor before you read out. What is it? Twenty-five, yeah. Can you read out 22, 21, 10 to fifteen? Can you read that out as well? Right. Can you, can you do that for me, please? Yeah, I'm right. Please. please. So are you saying? Are you saying Islam doesn't allow? No, no, I'm not. We already spoke about Islam for. for what, well, let's what, read it because obviously. He wants to get away from this. No, he's not answering. Because, because, yeah, he, he didn't answer my questions at all. No, 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 I'm here talking about it. I've got to the verse. Read the Bible. Then shall they bring out the damsel to the door of the father's house, What's and the men of her city. You said Deuteronomy 22, 21. No, no, 21, chapter 21. Yeah, versus I'm, 10 to 22. No, 14. I'm going to 22, mate. I don't know why you've gone to 21. No, no, I want you to read that first. No, no, I'm reading the Bible in context, mate. I'm not just reading it every verse you want Can to. you read this bit first and then read your bit? Is that right? Oh, well, I've got a problem not with it. It doesn't, it doesn't refute anything I've got oh, to no, say. No, the, no, the Bible sounds. Just, just read it. Maybe it's your interpretation, but the Bible sounds. So 21, what? 21, 5. Okay. 21, 21, 5, did you say? No, I said 10 to 15. 10 to 15, all right, man. When thou goest forth to war against thine enemies, and the Lord thy God have delivered them into thine hands, and thou hast taken them captive, and seen amongst the beautiful women, and as a desire unto her, that thou wouldest have her to thy wife, to thy wife. Say it properly, please. That I'm saying. No, no, because you said it in a bit of a muffled way. So say it again. That thou wouldest, because I'm speaking KJV right now. Yes, yeah, right. Wouldest have her to thy wife, not to have sex with her immediately, but to her wife. Then you shall bring her home to your house and she shall shave her head and pare her nails and she shall put off the raiment from off her and shall remain in thine house and bewail her father and her mother a full month and after that thou shall go in unto her the verses you just described no, fine, fine. I just want to know why are, you, why are you getting upset for? it's because you keep asking me what verse and I've no, gone to it what, what number are you on now? okay I'm on, I'm on 12, so I'm on verse 12, right? Yeah, go and I'll read it again. Yeah. Then thou shalt bring her home yeah, bring her to home. thine house, to the house and she shall shave her head shave and pair her, her nails. Because yeah. she's in mourning, she's shaving of her head course. and pair her nails. Right. Of course. And she shall put off the raiment of her captivity from off her of and shall remain in thine house and bewail her father and her mother a full month, obviously, because you're, you're, you're mourning. Of course. So, yeah. And after that, thou shalt go in unto her. Meaning what? And be her husband. So you be her husband. What after. does in unto her mean? 
No, have what does husband mean? Have what does husband mean? Have, have sex. Husband. What do, it says literally husband. here yeah, yeah, I know, I guess that thou so. wouldest have her to okay, be okay, unto thy wife. I'm asking you a question. Well, who is this referring to? It's referring to captive women. Captive women. Yeah. So now when she's this captive, you've got a captive woman, just tell me if this is right or wrong. You've got a captive woman. Right. You take her to your house, to thine house. Yep. To thine house, yes, beautiful KJV language. And you be her husband. No, no, and you be her husband. husband. Because she's yeah. your wife, as it says here. Bro, let's it's take it step by step. step. What, what, what do you mean step, step by step, bro? Well, it's literally Bible here, I've just read it out. No, it, said, it didn't say that straight away. It said, you take the captive, and then you tell you the captive to cut the nail off, correct? To cut the nails. To pair her nails, because that's what they did traditionally in the morning. And then shave her hair? Yeah, shave her hair. I'm asking a question, what if she doesn't want to do any of that? I doesn't really claim it. Doesn't claim it. Doesn't say you force her. No, 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 Can you show me where the verse says you force no, no, her to I, do these things? I, I no. Say, I believe that is. Allow me to finish. So I believe it was a traditional custom at the time for people in mourning to shave their hair. Well, most women I know don't want to shave their hair. All right. Do you that's agree fine. With that? Do that's, you agree with that? I agree with that. Would you agree with that? I agree, we're, we're not Israelites, no, bro. bro. I would agree with that. Everyone's most different. women here don't want to shave their hair. I, I agree with that. We're not Israelites, bro. But this is again. This is a cultural norm of. Uh, this is a cultural norm of, of Israel, yeah, yeah, yeah. Middle cool. East and Israel. So not us. You got a captain. And now he's gonna oh change to you. This is what I mean. Right. You're, 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 you're but it's like me no, no, saying, me. If, if you're a slave no, woman and you have a husband, just read the Bible, man. how many Don't slave women of want the Bible. to... No, Ijab, no, no. Ijab, the same, same thing happens in your religion. Ijab, don't be scared of the Bible. I was actually reading it out. We can answer him, but I'll throw that question No, no, hold on, hold on. Guys, 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 please, because I want... Because I was having a conversation in the first place, right? Right. The, your Quran has the same problem. For example, it says in Surah 2, two it says, I don't, read your Bible. Like mate, I dealt mate, with my mate. Quran, I didn't mention mate, the Bible. Mate, mate. It's not a fallacy to point hadith. out thoughts in your religion. You You're embarrassing yourself with this moment. I already read the devil with the hadith. So it says in chapter 4 verse 24 that you can take captive women even if they're married and in fact your prophet went on an expedition to Ortas which is in the Middle East, right? It's not your book, it's Hadith. You need my book to defend yours. It's Hadith, mate. Is, is that your book? You need, yeah. Okay, acceptable then, isn't it? Yeah, and your so prophet you went out there to and they took excellent women and the they had sex with him without marriage. Okay, no what this Bible is saying is that you need to marry women no, in order to have sex no, with no, them. So you're wrong. Okay, you're wrong. Right, you're all being a pride, pride and high and mighty, that's fine. But you're wrong. So what it says there is that you can take the captive women. They, cut their nails, they, shave their head. they can choose to, yeah. They wait one month, right? Yeah, one month. Then you don't have sex with them, straight Yeah, you don't have sex with them for me. Yeah, but your prophet did. He had sex with women straight away. No, no he didn't. And that's yes, he problem. did. We can go to the hadith. He literally did that. That's why you go to the hadith. No, you're scared of hadith. That's why you want me to go to the Bible. I have for 15 minutes. No, you haven't. You didn't, didn't do with anything. Didn't all you did was prove my I point. All you did was prove my point that Islam allows pedophilia. That's all you did. Okay. This, one this is a broken record for us. You're, you're literally, you're literally only. It was a cult first. You were coping, and the only argument you had was, oh, later scholars said this. So your whole religion is based on what other men who didn't know your prophet said. Thank you very much. Some random man just come and just invented your prophet. John, now look. Boy got a that he's going to deal with. Alright, so, so you're not going to deal with any of my points, are you? I'm, I'm, we're talking about, you said it yourself. You said after we deal with the Quran and Hadith, let's go to the Bible. We spent 45 minutes of Quran. And you ignored everything I said and ran to a random Jewish students, which had nothing to do with my religion. That shows you you need that Quran even to defend your own book. No, really, no. You need it so much, don't you? No. You're your paradigm is the Quran. Your paradigm is the Quran. So I'm using that demonic book to show that your that your religion promotes pedophilia. Are you jealous? <laughs> don't ignore it, ignore it, ignore it, ignore it, ignore it, ignore it. Answer his question. Ignore it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're jealous of the we're jealous of the book of paedophilia in the Quran. We're jealous of that. Even you admitted it's paedophilia. So come on. Even though the Quran says itself that it's a light to all men and it's a clear guidance two two, and also it's clear. The book is a clear Arabic. 15 verse 1. Are you scared to talk about the Bible? So your own Quran is supposed to be clear. But you've said that it is dangerous to read the Bible. He's scared. He's scared to you even said read his own your book. clear Quran that your God is saying is clear. All Dane's pedophilia, that's what we got so you on the camera. He says that in Quran, you can have ask sex you a question. You're a Christian. I want to ask you he a question. He said you, it yeah? himself. You ask me a question. Muslim, can I ask you a question? A question. I've already answered your question. I want to know a question. Are you scared of answering? I already answered have your you question. No question. You didn't like the answer, but I already no, answered your question. question. So, I, I want to see if I answer the correction. What? Do you want to chapter? Oh, man, this is boring, man. What, okay. what, what's okay. going on? No, what, no, it's boring when we go get to the juice of the matter. No, it's boring when you're not bringing a point. Okay, let me ask you a question then. 
Good. My question is, my, from my understanding of our reading of Deuteronomy chapter 21 verses 10 to 15, is that when a man right. goes into war and there are captives, women captives, right. and you find them, you get the captives, you don't say to them, would you like to come with? No, you take the captives. So captives mean they're prisoners now. Of yeah? course, actually so, Israel did that. Excellent. And your prophet did it as well. So, oh, as it was. so okay, great. You're, you're in no so, better so you should, position, mate. So you should have no problem. I've got no problem with the Old Testament. So you should have no this is a new covenant. That's my new point. covenant, new testament. Don't have a problem. The prophet did it as well. Anyway. Your prophet we'll, took uh, cats as well. No, but I don't, my I don't, God I don't never I don't said you are to rape that. women. I don't your God said you can. Your God said you can. Your God said you can rape women. Your God your God said you can rape women. Your God said you can rape women. So you should have a problem with what I'm saying. I'm, I'm saying to you, if you're going to be morally consistent, let's look at your book. That's what I'm saying. Right, right. All right so, so, if we go to Deuteronomy 21, verses 10 to 15, it says clearly that you take this woman against her will. She's now a prisoner. No, she's a captive. Yeah, yeah she's a captive. No. Good. Now I like it. Now you're talking the truth. Now you're being sincere. I'm what it says. Now you're being ingenuous. Now you're being authentic. Now you're behaving. And you was offended the whole time we're speaking, yes? Yeah? No, no, That's no, funny, no, isn't no, it? No, no, you wasn't offended the whole time. You now he's behaving himself, everyone. Why don't you just behave himself? Right, get to the point. Yeah, Could you stop patronizing me and get to the point, please? It's really dumb. No. Oh, no. So you don't want to talk about You don't want to talk about the Bible. You said I was running from the Bible, and now you don't want to talk about it. Okay, let's talk about it. And stop being disingenuous. It's unhelpful. Okay, I'm fine. We take the woman now. Against her will, as a prisoner, as a captive. Right. Now you, sh you take her home. She's crying. No, I don't want to be here. Please, shut your mouth. That's what your prophet did. Oh, man. Shut your mouth. Your prophet literally did it. What is wrong with that, bro? Your prophet did it. Let me finish. Let me finish. All this theatrics is not helping your religion. She's wailing. She's crying. Her whatever. Yeah. No problem. And I should be wailing and crying when Mohammed took her and raped her. Yeah, well, well we're, do we're dealing with one thing at a time. We're, well, we're dealing with one thing at a time. You you it's okay, it's one rule for D and another rule for me. Here's yeah, what it is with Islam, isn't yeah, it? You Double standards, isn't oh, it? She's crying, begging. Yeah. I want to go home. I should crying. Please don't touch me, Mohammed. There's no such thing. Yeah, because she was a baby, oh, wasn't honey. she? Oh. She was a baby. Why are you talking about your mum? My mum? Yeah, your mum. Yeah. Okay, so my, we're bigger. No, now we're attacking my mum. This is what Muslims do. This is what Muslims do when they lose the debate. You've been fishing, lost this debate, bro. Okay, my mum. My mum's a beautiful woman, bro. Okay, give her my number. She's a beautiful woman. She doesn't need your number. You're ugly. She won't want to touch your bar. But she's a beautiful woman. And I'm not going to stick to a level. I'm going to say your mother's a beautiful No, no, hold on. I'm going to say your mother's a beautiful woman as well. She's well, a really beautiful well, woman. I've said the same right? thing about yours. Let me see a picture. No, no, you, you said my. Show me a picture. You said my, my mother's ugly. So Can I right see right? your mum? You don't need to see your mum. I want to see your mum. I say your mother's a beautiful woman. Can I see your mum? Your mother's a beautiful woman. Can I see how she looks like? Oh, okay. I'm saying that your mother's a beautiful woman. Can, Can I see your mum? You don't need to see my mum. I want to see your mum. You don't need to see my mum. Why are you winking at me, bro? There's something wrong with you. You don't need to see right. my mum. Moving on. The, the mum jokes are not helping you. Yes, all I, you I like do it. is all you're doing is no, looking like on. a toddler. You do realise that. Okay. So I've got that stuff says, in year two. Bible you did says, you didn't realize Bible that. Says, you take now the woman against her will. So you're back on the topic? Yes, we are. So why are you talking to him then? He has nothing to do with the topic. You're talking to me. Fine. Focus on me. Fine, no problem. Okay. I'll focus on you. Good. And if you like, I'll focus on your mum as well. I'll now focus you, on your mum as well. Yeah, you can try. Because I, I, I like your mum. She's a decent you've woman. You've already spoken about Your mother's a decent Anything woman. Anything above that is, not, is, is, none, is none No, no, I, I don't care. Your mother's a decent woman and I like her. Uh, yeah? I, you don't even know what she Because I'm, not, I'm nothing might, like you. She might be a Hitler. Oh, so she's a Hitler. You believe your mother's Hitler? You believe your mother's Hitler? <laughs> you actually believe that, so dude? take now. The, oh, the man. captive is taken. Wow, that's perfect. Take the, take the captive. By yeah, the like, like Mohammed. Yeah? Now she's screaming, she's wailing. Yeah, like Mohammed. Now you tell her, shave your hair off. You got nothing I don't else? want to shave my hair like my does it say? Up, does it say she was forced to? Your hair. The Bible doesn't say she was forced okay. to do anything. Kinky stuff going on. Come on, hijab. You well, have you got a whip now? The Bible that nowhere that says yeah. that you are to force women to shave their heads. Yeah. You've got that wrong. You assume that's what, what it says in the verse. Says no. It doesn't say that in the verse. But it says that if the... What does the Bible say about... Oh, excuse me. What does the Bible say about disobedient slaves? What does the Bible say? Which verse? Which verse? Go to chapter verse. I don't know what's funny, bro. What's the Bible saying about disobedience? You're finding something funnier than, than I am. What do you do to a Bible, to a, to a slave if they're disobedient? If you tell them to You can be a slave, yeah. You can be the slave. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. So now the Bible here, the, the, the captive, she's being disobedient. Look, the, but that, those rules were for Hebrews only. So, ah, yeah, Hebrews only, not aliens. 
Bro, and you would have to free a Hebrew slave in seven you years. Don't cut my hair off. And that's what Muhammad did to Aisha. She should do what you're, do, you're about to do. With Aisha, her. Aisha was beaten by Muhammad. Aisha was beaten by so what's the problem? When your hair was cut. Allah allows for little girls to be taken and raped by a prophet. Okay. That's what happened. Now, after she's now one month in the house, we're sure that she doesn't. You're, you're not bringing a point here, Joe. No, that's what I want trying to understand. No, no, right. you're assuming what the Bible says. I've already read what it says. What does it say? I went to after June 2022. What, what can you, do after a month? you can marry the woman. No, can you do something else? You can have sex with someone you've married. Okay, beautiful. Because she, she becomes she's your wife. A slave that has had her hair shaven off. And then after a month. Uh, and her nails cut. And after a month, you and can marry her. Now you can defile her the way you like. No, you can't. So let's go to the verse again. What do you think about that? What do, you, what do I think about that? Well, so, so hold on, hold on. Abhorrent. You coming from some kind of higher moral... Pra don't ignore him. You uh, coming from some... Him. Ignore him, bro. Yeah. Ignore him. Yeah. The, no, it's the theatrics. He's running. He's the running. Theatrics. He's like, running. People are so the Bible doesn't say, say that, that you can take say. captive women and you rape them. It says in Deuteronomy 22 that you can actually marry a woman and then you would have sex with her. You say, I'm not, I'm not talking, I'm listening. The moral argument that this man has put forward. This guy has not brought any argument I'm to done, my point. I'm done with you. You're done with me because you're scared. You didn't want to go to the hadith. Your prophet, you literally admitted on camera okay, yeah. that it's okay right, to have so yeah, sex no with children. Yeah, okay, That's well, your religion, bro. Yeah. So now you just copy. Are you, going, are you here to give your mum's number? No, 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 I'm, I'm here to give you. Can I have your mum's number? Can I have your mum's number? No, it's all right. Okay, well, I don't want to give you one. Show me a picture of her. What's she look like? She's not interested in you, mate. Let's find out. She's not interested in you, mate. She's not interested in you. I want to find out if your mum will be interested. Right, so now you're doing mum jokes. Is that it? Is that all you've got? Because your religion was created by Peter, bro. That's why we're talking about mum's right now. With the people of the scripture, unless it's in a befitting way. And if I have a child of your mum, he won't come out like you. You're a funny guy, bro. You're a funny guy, bro. Oh, your prophet was shaking. Your prophet was shaking, though, wasn't he? Your prophet was shaking. He shook when he received revelations, didn't he? That's what made I know it hurts, bro. He shook when he received revelations, didn't he? He was shaking and he was sweating. Why? He was huh? a demon in the cave. I'm scared of you. I've never been scared of you, bro. You're a father in law. Really? You're going to be your father in law. I'm going to be your daddy, mate. I'm, I'm your father. You know, like Sarah said to you. <laughs> yeah. I'm, your, I'm your daddy. I might be your father in law. I'm your daddy, bro. Yeah, and deal with your mum in a very nice way. Don't worry, I'll, I'll deal with your mum in a very uh, nice uh, way. Yeah, yeah. I'll buy her food. Her I'll hair. take her up. Anyway, I'll buy her a drink, whatever. Like it says in the, the Bible. Okay, What's right. the name of the demon okay. he met okay. in the cave? Well, it was a nice conversation, yeah. Jab. I'm sorry it turned out like this. Shut up, man. Yeah. Suck yeah, he's telling me to suck out and shut up. That's what his prophet does. Right, Unfortunately, went so you can you can talk to the camera. No, you can talk to the camera. You can talk to the camera. No, no, don't talk to me. Just talk to the camera. Yeah, we're done. Because yeah. you want to talk about mum? Well, that's fine. Yeah, talk to the well, camera. Gone. Scared now about his mum. Freedom of speech. You want to use? Yeah, you can say whatever you want. My mum is a beautiful woman. I don't care. Well, let me see that. You don't need to see mum. Let me see your mum. You don't need to see mum. I want to see what she looks like. I want to see your mother. No, it's okay. I'll show you mum. Is this what we call intellectual discourse? You don't need to see mum. The Muslims here are listening to people insulting you. Is this befitting? Is this? I'm saying this, this is what she had done. I decided to insult my mother because say his religion was started by people. Right. 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 No, it's what they do. You're watching. No, it's what Muslims do. Mothers. I'm saying when they fell, that it should be ended. I've already won. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. How about this? What, what happened to do not argue what? You how about, how about with those who were given the book? I'm not fine, you mate. Both of you at the same time. I'm a loving of fire. What, what, what happened? I'm a loving of fire. I'm not fine, mate. There's no point. I'm not scared of you. Both of you at the same time. What happened? I'm not fine. All three of you make it trinity. I'm not fine. Do not argue. I'm not fine. With those who were given the book, save in the best way. Three on one. I care about you. I don't want to break. All three versus one. I care about you. Four on one, five on one, six on one. Just keep the numbers rolling. Oh, come on, man. Bye, Bye. Bye, boy. Thank you. Thank you. Well, can I wrap up now? Yeah, yeah, unless right, you... wrap up. I'd miss yeah. So I just want to walk off. Yeah. Anyway, as you've just seen, Hijab was resorted to attacking my mother because he's got no arguments. Yeah, 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 that's cool. This is all they can do. Muslims have lost to debate fundamentally. Their own prophet said in his tafsir and in his Quran that it's okay to divorce a child. Therefore, it's okay to marry a child. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. They are fault. They are fault. They are fault. They are fault. 
Muslims, you have lost. Just like the Crusaders attacked and destroyed your camps, I have today. Today you have seen Muhammad Jack. These Muslims have lost. They've lost the debate. Muhammad Jab had no argument for his religion. He brought up the later Tafsir writers who were hundred years of this prophet, said it was wrong to have sex. One minute, bro, calm down. Calm down, yeah. He brought up a late Tafsir. Muhammad Omar. Anyway, yeah. He brought up the later Tafsir saying that Muhammad, Muhammad said that it's okay to marry a child, right? He has no problem with it. We have no problem with the fact that Surah 64 verse 1 says clearly that you can divorce a child. He had no problem with that. So he brought up the Quran. I'm going to prove today that the Bible doesn't say you marry. For example, due to, due to Muhammad and Jab over there being a sick in the head, mentally ill, and I'll say that's what it is, right? Yeah? Due to him being that, he assumes that the verse in Numbers 31 says that you should marry, you should take and rape a child. But the verse doesn't say that. If you read the verse, it says young women or women children. That's what it says. Right? Be quiet. Go away. Right? So the verse says that. Do not touch the soul. Do not touch the Do not touch the Do not touch the soul. 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 Do they're threatening because they're angry. This way is. Jesus is Lord! Jesus is Lord! Jesus is Lord! Jesus is Lord! You see him? The skin! The skin of the Lord! The skin of the Lord! Let's do this! Let's go over here! Call me what you want, mate! We've already won! We've already destroyed him! Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's I want to finish off on Numbers 31, 18, right? So the, the claim from Hijab was that that verse clearly says that you can rape a child. The verse doesn't say that. It says young adults. That's what it says. In the verse I just read out, and Hijab couldn't face it. So instead he went into a theatrical thing, dancing around like a fairy princess, because he is a big fairy princess. It's not threatening. Going on like he's going, all right, all right, and then going on about my mother, saying my mother's this, my mother's that. This is what they can do. These cousins have lost to the bank, and we have won. You're not telling people what to say. The 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 Any Muslim seeking the truth, leave Islam, come to Christ. Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus Christ is Lord. He says in John 14:6, "I'm the way, the truth, and life." And he also says he judges in John 5. Right? These demons manifesting are only doing it because I've destroyed their prophet. Good night. God bless.